We're respecting. We're respecting the story. Lisa's in it. All right. All right. This is cool. Having Lisa Trevor in it. That's pretty fucking good, man. The effects are so bad. But I think they paid a lot for the um, the caliber of actors because they're good actors that are in it. They have a whole slew of decent actors in there. They ha No, not Lise. No, not Lise. Lisa. <laughs> not Lise. Lisa. And, 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 if that doesn't tempt you enough, Resident Evil fans, the one, the only. Have we still got the emo? I bet we haven't. I would fucking bet up my ass. The one, the only, Brian Irons is in it. The one and only Brian Irons is in the fucking movie, which is just... The sh Have we still got Brian Irons? We haven't. We haven't got Chief Irons. No, he's gone. Unluck, unluck. But, uh, yeah. Bri yeah, I, man, he's only half a man. <laughs> the one, the only Brian Irons is in the movie. I was like, oh, shit. This is good. This is good. I tell you now, though, if you're a purist, let's say you're the kind of person who plays FF7 and you're a purist, you're not going to like that they changed a lot of the characters up. <laughs> you're not going to like that at all. You're not going to like Wesker. You're not going to like Leon. Leon. You're not going <laughs> to... You're really not going to like... I can show you, actually. You'll get the idea. But they're, they're great actors, so I'm fine with it. Like, I don't care. They're great actors. But, uh, yeah, you're not going to like it if you're a purist. That's, uh, that's not going to work. <laughs> that's going to be a thing. Check it. I'm recommending this. I'm simping for it. Uh, stars. Okay, there we go. All right, so Kaya, she's Claire Redfield. All right, zooming, enhance, enhance. That's Claire Redfield. Uh, Jill Valentine, who is awesome in this. She's fucking really good. Uh, this is Chris Redfield. I feel like he was the one they tried to keep as like the original Chris Redfield, and uh, it didn't work. Actually, the replacement characters was way better. Was way better. I know her as Effie. No one else seems to know her as Effie. This guy is Wesker, and it actually kind of works. They stuck to the original story. Uh, if you if you watch the other Resident Evil movies, you'd probably be a bit put off, but they actually stuck to like the original story for Wesker, uh, which is really good. Uh, this is Leon. This is Leon Kennedy. Uh, he plays Leon really differently. It worked for me in the movie, but he plays Leon very differently than you would expect. If you Certainly if you played like Resident Evil 4 or something like that. Uh, they, he plays Leon so differently. But it worked. Bright Irons, there he is. He had Birkin in there. Yeah, there he is. There's our boy Bright Irons. What a chad. What a chad. We had Birkin in there, Ada Wong, yeah. They, 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 Lisa, there she is, Lisa Trevor, Vickers. They, they did really well. Worth it. I paid $4.99 to watch it. It was worth it. Was it woke? No, what the fuck does that even mean? Was there a gay person in the movie? No. It was, it was very faithful to the Res for Resident Evil 1 and 2. It was very faithful. It was very faithful. It's, uh, it's very enjoyable. Right, I have an announcement to make. We're having a glam contest. You guys have been asking since we did the, uh, since we did the uh, movie, uh, movie and video game characters. We are having a glam contest. It's happening. It's happening. So strap in, ladies and gentlemen. Strap in. Prizes to be won. Our good lady Bex has got it all organized. On Tuesday the 15th. Tuesday the 15th. The theme, heroes and villains. Heroes and villains. So whether you want it to be superheroes or supervillains or whichever you want, heroes and villains is what we're looking for. Heroes and villains. Glam contest. I want to see it. I want to be... We've got the whole thing set up. It's got to be great. It's got to be great. Yeah? No, no verse up to you. The, the runway is set. The stage is set. Yeah, the stage is set. I was actually saying to Bex, can we build a stadium? I would love to build a stadium, but I don't think we can put a stadium that'll have thousands of people in because it won't be able to see. Nobody will be able to see what's going on. All very solemn in here this morning. Are we in deep contemplation? Megalia is trying to represent. Chris is a Lala? -la? Yeah! Why the oh. fuck are you a Lala, -la, Chris? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why have you become a Lala? -la? Of all people, why have you become a Lala? 
Jesus fuck, man. Jesus fuck. <laughs> Please tell them what he said in the meeting. Oh, he said something like, I'm all about the Namazu. Namazu's are my thing now. And I don't know what that means, but I don't like it. Namazu's are my thing. Like, what does that... You know what I'm saying? Ooh, Air Force One. Sweet. Namazu's are my thing. Namazu's are my thing. Who says that? I mean, who's... At which point do those words come out of your mouth, you know? But he actually said it in a, in a team meeting. It's like, I'm just letting you know, Namazu's are my thing. <laughs> There was context. <laughs> He's shouting there was context. <laughs> He's shouting there was context. Okay. And I should... I mean, nobody asked. Let me put it that way. And Bex could confirm. Nobody asked. But... Uh, <laughs> I'm sure the context was appropriate. Clip it and ship it. <laughs> you go, Chris. You live your life. You live your truth. <laughs> you live your truth. No 4980. This is easy points for daddy. Come here. Definitely the halfway point. Easy. We're hitting 1 million today. Without question. So free. Look at this. Actual fucking sniper. That was close, actually. That was fucking close. Actual fucking sniper. I have a never seen some high thing. That's what I think he said. I think he stood up actually. He asked us all to be quiet. He said, I've just got an announcement to make. Namazu's my thing. Is that why you re -roll Have you rerolled to a Lalafell? That's right, isn't it? That's why you're a Lalafell. Because you want to look like a Namazu. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. What are Namazu's? They're the Fish people. Fish people. <laughs> That's what they are. Fish people. <laughs> yeah, generally not the brightest bunch either. <laughs> I might bring it up at a wedding. Fucking yell Navazoo. <laughs> Red fin. Uh, maybe. Maybe, man. I don't know. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll stick to what I know. That'll do me. I'll stick to what I know. I'm just never going to search Chris's Google history. That's, that's all. I'm going to keep myself safe. Get away from me. Get away from me, Azzy. Stop. Stop. Hunting me down. Michael Sarah row, best row. There was actually a... Hey, get this, get this. This is for real, right? There was actually a huge debate yesterday as whether or not this character is suitable for YouTube or would it take people out of the experience. That, that was a, a, a legitimate discussion we had yesterday when we're shooting cutscenes in-game for YouTube videos. Is the floor inspector appropriate or would it take you out of the... Would it take you out... <laughs> If we're doing a if we're doing a story about something relatively serious, which obviously some of the subjects are in uh, FF, I actually agree. Depends on the subject matter. That was my take on it. It depends on the subject matter. If we're doing something really serious, Chris described my character as stupid. He said it's a stupid, silly character. I mean, I I like it. Accurate. <laughs> What? True. <laughs> true, dude. <laughs> Too true. Stupid. Well. This is how it's going to be, eh? Oh, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do. I'll do, I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. Shit, we still need 50k for the one mil? Fuck, dude. One, two, three is here. 
The one, two, three is right here. <laughs> so easy for me, dude. So easy for me. Oh, yes. Rack them up. Rack them up. One more. One more. One, two, three is right here, isn't it? Oh, that's a nine. It's one, two, three. This is the only way this can play out. This is one, two, three. Oh, that's a nine. It's literally the only way it could possibly be. And I have to go for it. You son of a bitch. You rat bastard. You absolute rat bastard. You fucker. That's... Yeah, I mean, at least it was neither. I'm so... I'm, I mean, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I think you look fine, Inspector. Right? I've got the monocle. We do have to change our glam for Endwalker, though. No booba. No booba. Have we got Slice next? Or what? Give me some Slice. It's been ages. It's Leap. Okay, I can do one Leap. Let me get the mail. I've got mail. Let me get the mail. We'll do Leap. And then we'll MSQ. We're respectful. I don't need to be going to war with my with my jugs out. Alright? I don't need that in my life. You're mailing me about trailers? Is this like this is like bypassing security? This is what this is. You're like bypassing security at this point. You understand that, right? You're like you're hackermansing the game, and I don't like it. You see the large trailers? I've seen them, right? They're just as good. I saw the large trailers. <sighs> Mail has a character cap of 200. ARR relic. Is this just you venting at me? ARR relic story is fun. <sighs> Might be sound game. Right click on the icon bar. Top one, go to settings, go to further settings at the upper right and advance on the window. Then uncheck top box. Windows update resets it sometimes. Oh, the uh, volume changing. Yeah, that's, it's really annoying. That is really annoying. I will check that later. That's actually good shit. That's actually legitimately good shit. We'll check. We'll check. We'll check. Let's go do leap. Get leap out of the way. <sighs> no, it's not Endwalker trailer time. We're going to finish the fucking MSQ. Then we'll watch the trailer. Just as we've done. I just left and I have mail already. Why? Please stop sending me mail. You know, the, you've got me by the balls here. Because if I don't check it, the symbol's going to sit there. And do you know what kind of comments I'll deal with all fucking day? Delete. 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 Also, I thought mail had a delay. <laughs> it's not. It's so frustrating because it fucking sits there. It sits there all day and I'm like, you got mail, mate. Wait, you got mail. You got mail. Go oh, check it. Moogles are fast as fuck. Historically speaking, not so much. Historically speaking. Josh, they only have to 555. Yes, that's the plan. Yes, thank you, Tove. Thank you very much, man. The shading in the game. I couldn't get... I, I agree. The graphics, the graphics are really nice. When you, like, take everything away. And I'm fine with this. I think it looks great. I think this looks awesome. I'm totally fine with this. It's the UI that always bugs me in FF14. It's so old school. But you can change that with mods, so... It's, it's neither here nor there. I've certainly got used to it. 100%. I've got used to it. Yeah, Chris is using G-Shade because he's doing it for some filming stuff. But honestly, I'm totally okay with how it is. Wow, you're sparkles. Look at you. That can't be comfortable. The Gabu stocks rise. No. 
No, why would they? Why would they? <laughs> why would they though, really? <laughs> why so this love for Gabu? <laughs> yeah, Gabu got cured. If anything, Alice stocks went even higher. Right? I thought the voice actor was fine. It was a child. The voice actor was totally fine. I just expected them to have a more uh, sort of beastly voice, I guess you could say. I'm not bullying Gabu, but I mean, what? What? It was Graha. Alize did it in the end. Graha just held all the. Hala, uh, Graha was the battery. Right? What's your words? What are, words? What are you mean? <laughs> Alize's Amazon at this point? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Alize. Alize's just doing everything that needs to be done. In fact, Alfie contributed more. Ishtola and Graha. They were all good. They were all good. This is wow prejudice. I, I don't know. Well, you guys have a, a ridiculously strong affinity for anything that is slightly cute. And I don't have that. Alright? Cuteness has very little power on me. You might say I've got a soul of coal, but... That, that may be true. But if it's just something cute, that doesn't automatically make them amazing. My kids are cute, but, you know, they have to prove themselves. No fail. No fail. I promise I won't be toxic if you fall down. I promise, with all my heart, I will not be toxic if you fall down. Alright. Pretty much the first runner here, by the way. Oh no, I'm in second place to Chris. The fuck? Ah, Chris is lost. <laughs> and he lost. I won. Uh, on my screen, I won. Uh, on my screen, I won. I'm not going to be toxic. I'm not being toxic. I won that. I was definitely there first. You saw. An expert he has become, for sure. Come on. Come on. There's a photo finish. Notice how one Mr. Nups doesn't take part in these. He knows. He knows. Oh, Braggart's coming! Braggart's got this! Come on, Braggart! Come on! Oh, he's lining it up. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He's going back. He's Oh, he's going for the run. There it is. There it is. I don't think we've had any disasters today. Everyone's looking pretty good. Is Freya here already? Freya fell down. I can't see Freya, actually. Maybe Freya's left. Oh, here's Azzy. Come on, Azzy. Come on. Come on, pal. Slow and steady wins the race. Come on. There it goes. Come on, you got those big old legs. There's no way you picked up the last point then. There's no way. You didn't stand still long enough, right? There's no fucking way. I can't just run over them. It doesn't collect them. Maybe it's just a positioning update or something. 
Yeah, just timing on the tick. You use this your only redeeming quality? What do you mean? I want great success for you all! I don't enjoy watching failure. It doesn't make me happy to see you guys fail. doesn't. I mean, this isn't revenge or anything like that for the months and months of abuse I've suffered at your hands when I've fallen down. It's not like that. <laughs> we remember Gimpy. <laughs> I remember Boya quitting completely. I remember that. I remember Boya just like AFKing out of the dun out of the run. Right, I've had enough. I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. I remember that pretty pretty uh, pretty clearly. That was good. Like literally just straight giving up. <laughs> I think Basics Hard gave up as well. Well, it looks like everybody's done well. Who are these guys here? Are these waiting for me to leave? See this here? What's going on here? Are they hoping I'll just leave? I think they are. I suspect. I suspect. Those are players? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoying the view. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> I think they're waiting. They're waiting for hooks? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I don't think so. I think they're waiting. Still here. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> I'm not becoming Yotsuyu. What the fuck? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Our next quest then is question mark, question mark, question mark. It's the great mystery of the MSQ unfolds upon us. Have you ever played Terraria or Terraria Calamity? No, I've never played Terraria. No. I haven't. It was, uh, it was lost to me. You gotta remember, there was a period of my life where I just played World of Warcraft every single fucking day. Every day. And uh, everyone was like, mate, have you tried this new game that's 9 out of 10 IGN? I'd be like, mate, I just fucking got Mythic Plus to do. So, shut up. But we try, we try, we go back, we go back. I'm really excited for the, the next raid race in Wildo. I love the raid race, it's so good. So good. Oh, what a team. What a team. Look at this, what a squad. Was there ever a story in Wild that affects you like the FF14 stories? Oh, no, not all. Um, the closest I ever got in WoW was... And I forget his name now, unfortunately. Uh, was the story with the crack addicts in Surama. Um That was... I thought that was about as dark as WoW had ever got. Yeah, the uh, Runa story. Yeah, like, that, they were generally just uh, drug addicts. Uh, that was... I mean, it was between the lines, because they obviously keep it... They keep it relatively child-friendly. But, uh, yeah, the Runa story was... Uh, was one that I, I brought. I brought, and you can tell how much I enjoyed that story. I brought it up a ton of times. Suramar was fantastic. It was. It was really good. I, I, I think my review of the early Suramar was overwhelmingly positive. Overwhelmingly positive. Like I loved Suramar. Uh, the out of game stories are pretty good. Th like Thrall's background's really decent. I, I've never read any of the books, but I've never had any reason to either. Um, I hear they're good. I also, I, like, I get mixed reviews. Like, some people say they're just, like, young, white, they're, like, YA stories. They're, like, a bit on the Twilight side of things. Eh. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, like, never really grabbed me. Yeah, never really grabbed me. The story was good. I just didn't like the time getting to rep. Yeah. I mean, often, that was in the early days when a lot of the PTR testing I did, I didn't really appreciate how much time getting they would be in. Like, you guys probably some, saw some of the streams. It was awesome. Like, playing through a lot of the WoW story in one go was really cool. Like, you know, 
Uh, but then when he came to the game, it's like you can have one snip of story every two weeks or something. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> By the time I came back to it, I had no idea what the fuck was going on, you know? <laughs> that, was, that was how it always was with his time game. It's like I couldn't, I like can't remember what happened because you do like 20 minutes of story, which is not a great deal. And then you have to wait like a week or two weeks to get the next bit. And I'm like, I don't even remember what's going on at this point. Like, I got a general idea. A little sniff. A little snifter. Right, Yish. We did it. We brought Gabu back. If I have any say in the matter, he'll be the first of many. All right. Looks like we're ready to go. Like must. Oh, we're going to see Matoya. Hype. As she will be at pains to remind me, I have not paid Master Matoya a visit since returning from the first. But this seems as good a time as any. Come, let us make for her cave. Hype as fuck! Yeah! I, I hope they got a voice actress. Uh, Idol Shire, that's where we want to go. Yeah. All I want to know is this. I don't want to know the specific answer. Is Matoya in another FF4, FF game? FF14 game. Another FF game? Just a yes or no. Yes. Okay. The hunt begins. The hunt begins. Oh, it's Slice? One Slice. I'm not stalling. I just want one slice. I need my victories. I need them. I need them. One slice. One slice. One slice. Then we're going to Matoya. One slice. One slice. One slice, and then it's all MSQ. One slice. One slice. You can give me one slice. I'm allowed a slice intervention. Yeah. I need what? I need four more victories. I failed twice in a row last week. I failed twice in a row. I need four more victories. And then I've got everything I need. And it was even my fault, which is the saddest thing. Where was it? Is it four or three I need? Character Gold Saucer. Eight to four million triple triad achievements. Yikes. I need four more. Where does it tell you the title it gives you? I don't see on here where it tells you that you get a title for doing this. Over hover? Hover over what? Hover over the metal. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Oh, it just says there, Kindred Sword. Is that the title? Okay, so this icon means there's a, a reward. Uh, there's a specific reward. Okay. My young master, my young enthusiast. No. Pass. Lady of Verminion, that's a good name. Princess of Verminion. Razor of Mountains. I'm not even close to that, am I? Yeah, not even close. The Fungar. <laughs> Fuck that. Anyway, the wind blows, man. Fuck that. I bet Nopes has this. I almost guarantee he's got this. This is bullshit. It's bullshit. It's actual bullshit. Oh, I'm getting close, though, to get Gatekeeper. I don't even know what titles I've got. Is it in profile? Oh, I've got a few. Storm Lady, the heart of the party, Defender of Eorzea, the final witness, Icebreaker of the Silver Lining, Gentlewoman, the Unsevered, Gambler, Bug Girl, 
Bearer of the Torch, Unbeliever, the Nidhogg Slayer, the Silver Fuller, Imperial Nuisance, Under Archon, the End of Ascalon, Annihilator, Illuminati Quencher. I'm not having the Gambler title, no. The Finder of False Gods, Minion Collect. Oh my god, I actually have a fucking pet thing. Son of a bitch. Mamita, House of Boss, Sky Pirate, Mythbreaker, Social Special Advisor, Gear of Change, All Thought, The Dragon Song, The Winds of Time, Surrenderer of Souls, The Finest Pupil's Ally, Fate Walker, The Holy Body, Gigi's Best Friend. Can I have Seto's Best Friend? Pigeon Traveler, Confederate, Adversary, Step Warrior, The Return, Lisa's Right Fist. <laughs> The gem break. Raban's left arm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 100%. Definitely having that title. What? <laughs> That's well good. The new sun, monster hunter, prelude of violet, a requiem for heroes, the Saboro, Outlander, the Fate Touch, Seeker of Intrus, the Sunless Sea, Enemy of Innocence, Shadowbringer. Strange Shadow, Virtual Seeds, Echo of a Fallen Star, and Shepherd to the Stars. Alright, I will definitely be Raban's right arm. Raban's left arm. That's how we're doing it. It's actually a free company name on your server. That's a quality free company name. We got all these sweet mugs in. Yeah, well, a lot of them seem to be madly in love. There's a title for winning each of the Bozier duels. Zero shot you ever get it. You know, I've accomplished some great things. So to suggest that I can't fucking do some shitty Brawler's Guild thing is pretty embarrassing. It's pretty embarrassing on your part. Now, if you wanted some real gambling, if you wanted some real fucking gambling, if you wanted to earn some real motherfucking coin, they would let us do the duels back to back for like a weekend. Zero shot, I gamble, you never get it. I, I mean, I'd have to fo focus on Boja, right? Why Honey Yellow? Because it's outstanding. It's perfection itself. Gamble one you I need to practice. I need to practice. I've no I haven't taken part in one duel yet. I'll gamble 100 subs, so you never get it. Don't you have to do every duel? I mean, that's kind of an investment, right? That's kind of a big investment, is to do every single duel. That's like THD levels of gameplay. There are three of them? Okay. See, so there's one, I guess, for Red Choctober. We're going to Boja later. I guarantee I win a duel today. Easy. Ah, there's only three, there's six total, three Boja through next one. I'd rather make my bed. <laughs> Can't do a single duel in two weeks. <laughs> you better hold yourself to these bets. You better hold yourselves. Not only can I do it, I'll one-shot it. I got five subs, you win zero today. Do you want to do the MSQ or not? Right? Do you want to do the MSQ or not? Because if you're fucking putting money on the line, if you're, if you're throwing money down. <laughs> if you're throwing money down. <laughs> we're doing the MSQ first. That's the deal. You're doubling crafting, gathering, and unlock Kai Shia as a custom delivery turn in your mode. Do those six out for 100 for total. You get a honeybee. I don't want to be the honeybee. I want to be Raban's left. I, in fact, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want any title. I want my immortal title. Get, go away. How do I get a mortal? That's what I want. What's this? Azima the Warden. What the fuck is that? My god. Yes. Floor Inspector is a title. It's pretty good. I don't think I've done too badly. Over my playtime, we've accomplished a lot. We need to get into the extremes. Because I've actually forgotten most of them. I want to do Nidhogg Extreme, big time. We need to get to the extremes before I totally forget how to play my character. 
Ah, uh, we're just doing slice. Two minutes. Yes. No, we're doing MSQ today. That's the plan. Shadowbringers will be finished before I go to Mexico on Wednesday. Before I go, Shadowbringers will be complete, story-wise, by the time I go to Mexico on Wednesday. That's the game plan. That's the game plan. Oh, what Switch game should I take with me on the plane, squad? I'm taking a Switch with me, because I've got a 13-hour flight to Mexico. What am I taking? The new Pokemon? I haven't played the new Metroid, either. It's probably either the new Metroid or Pokemon. I've done Luigi- well, I've got Luigi's Mansion 3. My kids played it. Yeah, it's Pokemon or Metroid. More than likely. Download the Shadowbringers VOD to relive the memory. And just be sat there blubbering on a plane. <laughs> like a fucking right idiot. <laughs> my iPad's broke, actually. I can't take my iPad, either. Fucker. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Metroid probably better. Yeah. I, I, might, I might have a little concern with Pokemon, and this sounds awful, so take this with a pinch of salt. If I play Pokemon, my kids will want to join in. And that'll get really frustrating. Over 13 hours trapped in a giant metal tube. That would get very frustrating after a while. I think Metroid would look boring to them. I've heard only good things about the new Pokemon game. The only thing people have ever commented on is the graphics, but for the Switch game, I really don't care. We should get in touch with Steam so we can have a, a Steam thingy. Mobile PC. Yeah, there's no Mr. Rhyme, which is sad. There's no Mr. Rhyme. It must look really ugly in handheld mode. I've not seen it. I haven't seen it. I haven't watched any of the new Pokemon at all. I've not watched a damn thing. Oh, no Gamber on Slice. You can get RNG'd out of this. Let's not forget the reality here. Oh, Nups isn't here because he's doing his language test so he can come to the UK. <laughs> he's got to prove he can speak English. <laughs> he's got to prove. He said that he's been doing all the, like, theory tests. All the mock tests, I should say. And he's got questions to answer, like... <clears throat> Now, Mr. Nups, do you know what the English phrase weather forecast means? Yes. Excellent. Can he figure can he figure this out? Can he can he crack the code? Can he crack the code? <laughs> Just yes? I don't know. He was giving us examples yesterday. It cost us, uh, I think it was like 250 quid for his language test. Something like that. Just a fucking money grab, isn't it? Just a money grab. Okay. Right, short now. Actually, had a winning streak at one point. I'm not getting the gold, no. You 
you are still trying to get the gold? Who is that? Melky. That greed level is off the charts, brother. So many of you in that sector. There are so many of you there. Two AOE ones right here. Oh shit. Yeah? No! Fuck! Fuck's sake! Judged it poorly. That was on me. That's on me. That was on me. That was on me. That was a failure. Judge that poorly. <sighs> Not many came out of that one alive, man. Not many came out of that on top. That was brutal. That was a brutal slice. That was a brutal slice. That was absolutely brutal. The last phase of that mullered everybody. That's fair. Good job, Freya. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, you can laugh. Yes, yes. Although I think, pretty sure you got lucky. 99% sure you got lucky. All luck, no skill. A lot of believers. It was close to the gamba. My day will come. I don't know. I've lost the rhythm for it. I was literally winning in a streak. An actual streak. Bullshit. My day will come. I will have my day in the sun once more. That was a poor judgment, though. That was a fucking poor judgment. Uh, I had three wins, I'm pretty sure, in a row. It was the gold standard. Probably four, actually, now I think about it. Yeah, there's our boy. I love how the map actually changed. It makes it so much better. That was a good raid story. That was a much better story than the Eden one. Yeah, like half my wins were in a row. It was something like that. <laughs> I was doing really well at one point. But we also got lucky. Every time we started the day, it was slice. Eden's okay. It's like it's uh it's uh, it's all right. All right. I'm happy for them. They're getting their world back. Yeah. All right. It didn't have me engrossed. Let's put it that way. I'll take it ready to wear fitness to the joyous reunion of master people. Very well. She's never looking forward to seeing Matoya. We're we're all excited, and she's never excited about it.
Did he get a voice actor? Nary a word from you all this time, then you bring every man and his pirogo with you. <laughs> Did no one teach you any manners, girl? They were too busy teaching me etherology, master. Jesting aside, I wanted to be the one to express our gratitude. I am told you spared no effort to sustain our bodies while we were away. And for that, we owe you our lives. Thank you. High fives. <laughs> you were gone so long. I was starting to think you'd set your heart on staying. It wasn't easy to leave, as it happens. Seldom does one have the opportunity to study other worlds, and I would not have minded extending my stay by a handful of years. How long do cat people live? Ever the scholar. Yestola dedicated herself to studying ancient civilizations of the first, befriending a tribe known as the Knights Blessed in the process. There she took on the name of Matoya and won the respect of all the children of the forest. That's some wildly various answers, thank you. Oh, Alfie. Uh... Oh, Alfie. I merely adopted an alias in accordance with the custom of my hosts. Yours just happened to be the first name that came to mind. You mean to tell me you went gallivanting about using my name and only bother to visit when you need a favor? And don't pretend you don't. I taught you long enough. <laughs> Indeed. Dude, what? And devoted Dude. pupil that I am, I could not fail to recall my master's sage advice. When the answer eludes you, look to the wisdom of your elders. Oh, the, the kiss arson. Smell your tonsils from down you here, that far in. Were you going to introduce yourself? Grahatia is my name, and I am proud to call myself a scion. That was good. I too wish to offer my gratitude for your invaluable aid in sustaining the Archon's bodies, as well as my apologies. It was my inexpert summoning spell which endangered their lives in the first place. Much better, dude. Much better. Ah, oh, yes. The one bent on digging up the mysteries of Alag. Old Galaf used to speak of you. And Kryles told me all about your recent exploits. Kryle the better. Do you have a bad back or something? At ease, boy. Whatever mess you've made, I'm not in the habit of dwelling on the failings of the younger generation. <laughs> you are... Too kind. I've also heard much and more about you, Master Matoya. Tis an honor to finally make your acquaintance. Well, that's more than enough pleasantries for anyone. Tell me what you want. I haven't got all day. I can't believe Angelo has become, like, this fucking beacon of hope for the world. So that's the way of it. It should be a simple enough matter to make the familiar. The magic, on the other hand. Ah, that you may leave to me. Being the only one possessed of royal blood, I alone can imbue the subject with the necessary magic. So I just need to create porkses with the power to stir the soul. They don't have to be porkses. Just, I say. Though we're talking about a veritable herd of the little buggers. We'd collapse before we reached double figures. But 
If I could get a familiar to create the familiars. Oh no. A mother porksy. Skynet. As it were. Seems I haven't seen the last of that moldy old hole after all. Something like that. Yeah, I've been doing some Minecraft shit now. We're gonna get a breed and we'll just throw hay in. Have you put Angelo on the tier list? No, I haven't. <laughs> No, I haven't. I'll talk to Alizé, she has something cool to say. In case you ever wondered, Alphano got his innocent streak from our mother, and it can be rather endearing, even useful in certain situations. But most of the time, it just makes me want to shake him, poor Yustola. A porksy that produces porksies. What's an inspired idea. By the way, Flo, you think I misspoke earlier? I assure you, it's not my intention to embarrass anyone. Moldy old hole. You must really miss the place. Right. Off to my old workshop, then. Everything required to make your familiar is there. That may be, but no one has set foot in there since the Exodus. I dread to imagine what has become of it. Oh. There's sure to be a handful of feral familiars and may have a monster or two, but nothing to keep the troubles the likes of you. You can consider cleaning up the place payment for my help. Fine, we'll do it. Good girl. Now there are no other objections, I suggest you run along to the maker's quarter. I'll send one of my pirogos ahead to let you into the workshop. You need only tell them who you are. One can't be too careful after all. Off you go. All right. Uh, what's up? Oh, I missed the broom quest. That was hype, actually. A sorry broom. A fan of a straightforward broom? No way. Talk to the brooms. I do like. I did like the broom quest. That was really fun. I do new fish. You all right, buddy? Oh, Iggle Piggle, because Iggle Piggle is there from uh, probably a few years ago now. But Iggle Piggle. When my kids were younger, is the most terrifying, horrific character I've ever seen created on kids' TV. Like, there's so much dark fan fiction about Iggle Piggle that it, I just consider the fact that if I was to walk down an alleyway, what would be the most nightmarish thing I could ever imagine to see at the other side? And it would be Iggle Piggle. Pig Emma, Emma rebought Piggle, yes. Emma, Emma got another Piggle. As she sold original Piggle. Worse than Blobby? Oh, way worse. Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't got his cannibal mask yet. He hasn't got the cannibal mask yet. But <laughs> I believe there is one on the way. What is Iggle Piggle? It's a, it's from a, a show called In the Night Garden. I think it's a French show. But uh, it is... It's... it's, it's <laughs> There's a very strong theory that Iggle Piggle is a um, 
the corpse of a drowned sailor. <laughs> I wish I was, uh... Go to sleep. I wish I was lying. So, like, the outro to the show. Excuse me? Yeah, for real. So, Iggle Piggle is blue, which indicates the uh, suffocation. And the end of the show, every time, is the boat that Iggle Piggle sails out on his own, drifting off into the waves, all by himself. A bit like this. <laughs> so, there's very strong theories that this is dead Iggle Piggle. You can just you can you can only just see it at the end. But this is his boat sailing off into the waves. You can see him lay down in the boat, all on his own into the night. This is it's French, I believe it's French. It's obviously translated into English. It's nightmare fuel, yeah. It's nightmare fuel, and the whole purpose in the night garden is this weird thing. But there you can see this is supposed to be the delirium <laughs> that the sailor is facing as he approaches death. That's. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's so dark. It's so fucked up that the show is literally the delirium of uh, this sailor as he's lost at sea. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fucking weird, man. It's pretty dark. Now you know the history of, uh... It was British, not French. I'm pretty sure it was French. Pretty sure. Or maybe it's made by a French company. Typical kid shows. There's some really dark ones. Like, we had fun with it once. Like, Paw Patrol. Uh, there's a really strong fan theory that, uh, in fact, that kid from Paw Patrol is actually a really wealthy old man who is constantly buying dogs and just sending them to their deaths over and over again. Who lives in this town. And he's constantly just murdering these, these dogs that he keeps, he keeps uh, rehoming. And murdering them over and over again. Like, <laughs> it's just like, there's all these, like, weird stories that go with them. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Oh. Greetings, Ribbit. Welcome to my good mistress, Relic. Pururongo is my name, and I am honored to be your guide. Within you all find a space dedicated to the making of familiars, along with a cavern wherein the requisite ingredients may be had. I must warn you, however, that the place has not played host to a single soul, much less a broom in over 15 years, and I will, I regret, be in some disarray. Rest assured, my brothers and I will only see to you not lose your way. Now then, Ribbon, only say the word and I will show you in. Is this going to be a dungeon? Oh, sick! Nice! Any gamers? Boris? Yeah! Boris! Dafty? Alright. Garen? Sweet. I'm a Toya based dungeon full of familiars. Swish. Do we have a, an appropriate squad? We got the rolls? We got the rolls! Nightmare of running this for months in Expert. got a tank? Do we have a heals man? Oh, Dafty said he could heal, right? Where? Yeah, Alright. We're good. Uh, Matoya's Relic. Egg check? We've got no eggs. I get so excited for a new dungeon at this every time. Oh, they could get real weird in here with the magic. Right. To begin with, I need you to gather a few ingredients. Listen well to what the Porogos say, or you'll wish you had. Oh god, is there gonna be a riddle? Is there a riddle? First things first, we need to harvest some clay. Okay. The 
clay can be had at the Claycock Cauldron. Or this portal, if you would. Okay. Puro Rogo the Unwashed. Please follow me, Rit. Put that any pest that bar the way. Let me drink this in, though. What are we fighting? Tree monsters and shroomers. Okay. I feel like I'm at Alton Towers. This music's great. Do you think the music's cool? Just assist you with the gap. Thank you, Mr. Frog. <laughs> oh, no. Angry. It's fine. All fine. There was a bit of a delay on that movement, though. I'm not moving. Not happening. Casting flare, dude. Son of Ziggy. Oh! Well, he's just across the way. You need to deal with Mudman. Mudman? Oh, I've got a rune. Feels bad. This is a very big room. Mud bubbles, what do you do? Are they gonna explode? One bubble each, mayhaps? Oh no, they're following us. Okay, okay we just direct them off the platform. Do I have to score like snooker? Have I got a score? All right, I see. I had no idea what we were doing at first, though, but that's actually a pretty cool little mechanic. Oh, there's a monster in it now. Now, no one else is getting the monster. Did I not hit the monster? Did I empower the monster? I feel like I empowered the monster. Or did I kill the monster? I didn't make it out, so I feel like I did a good.
Maybe I increase the AoE damage or something? Mayhaps? Did I empower that monster by hitting it with the ball? You have to use the blank ones. Now we have my clay. Yes, okay. What did the what did the monster actually do though? Did it increase AoE wee damage or something? I didn't see it actually do anything. It used the ball alive to hit you again if you hit the monster. Okay. Well he didn't actually like buff anything else. He's just a goalie. <laughs> He's just a goalie. Okay. Oh, I can accept that. He's just a goalie. He's just blocking the holes. All right. I was wondering whether he would come out or something like that. Whether he would, uh, you know, come climbing out and be an extra rat or something. Ooh. See, this is what I mean. The graphics aren't bad in this game at all. That is a cool looking fucking model, man. It's like we're gonna work our way down here. We don't. Please wait while I move the lift. Okay. Sick. Yeah, no notes. I was wondering if there'd be old notes in here or something like that. Not yet. You did this look like a hundred times? It's very cool. Looks a little limited on how many massive pulls you can do. If you were going for super farm. Yeah, big balls said to be somewhere between six and eight mobs, from what I've seen so far. I ain't gonna have them exactly any speed run type strats. Not that I want to either. Why were you farming this dungeon then? Is it for a certain drop, or was this just really good for poetics or what? Expert roulette. Wait, right, this would just pop us up a lot. I haven't done it yet. No, I'm just, I mean, but we can figure it out now. Stone farm. Oh, good. We do know all about that. Regardless of the game, we know all about that. They sent some mischievous presents for a bit. Holy sweet Jesus, what the fuck is this Pokemon? Uh, this looks like one of them floors that's going to get divided up.
So much fun, more water. We need more water. Oh, it's a big cloud. There's me thinking we were just soaking. How wrong I was. That's pretty. Stop killing new life. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. He's got shower power. Nice little boss. Have we turned the water back on? Yes. Last but not least, we need to fire up the kill. Fire time. Time for fire. Off we go, Ribbit. Please try not to fall behind. Whoa! Dude, that's so cool! That's gorgeous! like some Willy Wonka shit. Yeah, <laughs> it does look like a RGB game is wet dream, doesn't it? <laughs> I can see that. This is what I was hoping to see in an environment like this. Frog Moses. <laughs> That's a good name for him, Froggy Moses. Sorcerer's Apprentice vibes. Yeah, it's just... Whenever... I feel like any time a game dev gets to rate something that's just magical, they just have the best time. The absolute best time. It's like, just go wacky with it. See what you see what comes out. My favorite model. <laughs> Is he going to do some big hands?
Report Boris for copycat? No, 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 no. Just more floors to inspect. A lot of floors in the world. Can't inspect them all by myself. No way. Is there a fourth boss then? There's, uh, there's like a boss arena that you see from the entrance to the dungeon. What comes pouring? Oh, oh, okay. This is interesting. Oh, the kiln's up now. Oh, there's no boss here. Okay, okay, there's no boss. I see. Alright. Time to bake ourselves a porksy. Are we going to make a gigantic fat porksy? Proper mama po Oh no, she, she looks chunky. I saw the clay model. Right then. Let's get this over with. I want it to be so giga thick. Newborns are wont to be difficult. <laughs> Sure, who's in charge? Mm-hmm. It's a pork seed address. <clears throat> sure. How hard can a pork seed be? Oh, she's big. Oh, actually, she's big. She's big. Yeah, uh, she's big. Don't show fear. They can spell it. Possible mechanics in here. Hard to say. It's giving us the old tenderloin. Hoping for the short cast play. Um. Pig's got some snow on it. That's fair. We won't fall to this piggy. Oh, fuck off, man! Try not let me cast a spell. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're blasting. I mean... Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you not moving. Fuck that. <laughs> Fucking battle of the black mages. <laughs> oh, thanks. I guess it's a golden rule not to put two black mages next to each other. <laughs> No one's gonna move. <laughs> no one's moving a goddamn inch. Yeah, 
Healer's worst nightmare to Black Mages. And nobody's going nowhere. Assert dominance. <laughs> you got to assert dominance. <laughs> ah, imagine running to the mechanic instead of committing to the kill. Fucking pussies. Gotta commit, dude. Gotta commit. I ain't moving for shit. <laughs> I ain't moving for no man. That was a cool boss. That was nice. Oh, okay. This this isn't a good image. If I hold it long enough, it'll become our Twitch thumbnail. Give it a sec. Oh, it wiggles? <laughs> it's still got some life left in it. <laughs> of course it's still alive. We're not trying to kill it. There we are, quite tame. So now we're just going to all that remains this thing. is for me to imbue her with the magic. My friends, I'm afraid I must trouble you for your ether once more. Is this not animal cruelty? should suffice. Good. Let's set her to work then, shall we? I want to see some porkses. Assuming that is, someone can spare the requisite energy. I don't like this at all, guys. This feels wrong. A mere drop in the ocean for the great sorceress Matoya, I dare say. What's, what are we going to watch here? Okay. Excellent. Our very own litter of Angelos. Told just impregnate and we can pig. make as many more as we want simply by providing the mother porksy with additional ether. <sighs> I will require a moment before I try again. Hey, same. I've been it's there. It's still hard work, but a damn sight more efficient than making them one by one. Thank you, Master Matoya. Everyone, we're a step closer to our goal. Distributed amongst the allied nations, they should do much to facilitate closer dialogue with the beast tribes. And given their present travails, I believe our friends in Limsa Laminsa should be the first beneficiaries. Agreed. Though I must leave this errand to you. I doubt my legs will carry me out of the cave, much less to Vilbrand. Yeah, same. 
Thank you for taking the lead in gathering the ingredients. Just roll over and go to sleep. I expect you would benefit from a rest, too. In addition to the proxies, I trust you've gained an inkling of how much effort goes into the creation of familiars. Or mayhap you attribute your struggles to old age. Let's <laughs> get shit on all day. If I said yes, would it persuade you to treat me like an adult? <laughs> Not with that pertness, it wouldn't. Anyway, assuming you have no other favors to ask, I shall be leaving. Slowly, slowly. Can she not walk travel? I feel like they also slowed down Yish's walk animation there. That's a nice touch if they did. I feel like they did. Alright, so now we've got ourselves a piggy breeding program. <clears throat> Great. Great. Luna, thank you so much for the Prime. A buttery dry dress. I've got some 5.3. Looking forward to Endwalker. I'm very excited for Endwalker now. I'm more than up for some MSQ. And Hans, I see you cooking some of your favorite food and I slab a bacon. Mmm. Mmm. Knuckles, Dr. Fumbles, MD. Thank you for the Primes. Demorty, uh, love the community. Yeah, it's a fun day every day. That's the only goal we try and do. Let's have a fun day every day. Lest you wonder, Master Matoya has returned to her cave with Ishtola. Hmm. They are as peas in a pod, are they not? I guess. May I ultimatize relics with the NPCs? Sure. The Admiral's Resolve. Are we gonna go see Burley? Oh man, I fucking love that they don't forget about their old characters. Woohoo, remember. Well then, my friends. Let us return to Limsa Laminsa and deliver the good news to the Admiral. A word to the officer in Bulwark Hall should be sufficient to secure us an audience. Can I who? Oh, in fact, we've got our Louis Soir story for today, haven't we? Shit. I should have done that before we start the MSQ. We'll do it later. I really want to hear what Louis Soir's story is. Obski, thank you very much for the two months. Yoohoo, Millie moves. Indeed, indeed. We've got all day. I've done my filming this morning before the stream. I was up bright and early, squad. Yeah, it's sad she didn't get her own reborn voice back, but that's okay. That's all right. I'm sure some people much prefer the new one. Just for me, she sounds like she works in a cafe around the corner. Hey, guys. If you offer them the means to cure their temper, the beast tribes are far more likely to listen. Why, Lieutenant Inspector, ever a welcome sight. <laughs> Tardings for the Admiral, you say? Uh, she's presently receiving guests, but for the Scions, I know she'll make an exception. Follow me. My friends, what brings you here this day? Not voice acting. Is this true? By the navigator. A cure for tempering. As often as I've been in awe of you, Scions, I would not have thought it possible. And yet it is, Admiral. We have done it here in Limsa. A production of more familiars has already begun. You have my thanks, truly. This will do much to advance the cause of peace. Yet I fear it will take more to close the rift twixt man and beastman. Ah. Even to speak thus divides us. Welcome as it is. A cure will not guarantee reconciliation between our peoples. Although summoning and the tempered may serve to fuel the conflict, they are but symptoms of it. If we are to resolve the primal problem once and for all, we must address the cause. 
We must strive for mutual understanding and find a way to leave our bloody past behind. It was I who moved the Alliance to renew its push for peace. Since our ancestors came to these shores some seven centuries past, we Lamincens have been at odds with those who share our island home. Save for a brief moment of cooperation with the Kobolds, our history has been one of nigh constant territorial squabbling. Meanwhile, our struggle with the Sahagin for control over the seas has only grown fiercer. The matter made worse by the thrice damned calamity driving them to seek new spawning grounds. True, that's a true. The survival at stake. Each had no choice but to fight, and so I dismissed peace as impossible. Impossible is a word coined by the weak, I proclaimed to all who'd listen, and then gave up. You and yours put me to shame. Since you led us to victory against the Black Wolf, you have achieved the impossible again and again and again. <laughs> and I thought it high time that I followed suit. Hence my proposal to the Alliance Council. <laughs> but no sooner did I reach out to our neighbours in Vilebrand than my own people sought to thwart me. Mutineers? You speak of the pirates who failed to attend the meeting. Aye. Acting though a friendly faction among the kobolds, we had intended to seek an audience with a prominent patriarch. But the bloody executioners would not hear of it, and their absence sent a message to the rest. Though they are but one of three pirate powers, they are the greatest, and any attempt at peace would founder without them. Is that supposed to be flounder? I think we had a misspelling. Shaking my head. I am given to understand that their leader, Captain Hilfir, has been bedridden for some time on an ailment of the lungs. Correct. In his absence, his right hand leads a man named Sickard, but recently risen to prominence among their ranks. Save for his disdain for authority, little is known about him. We have invited him to speak with us more than once, but he will not come. I have tasked the Yellow Jackets and the Rogues with uncovering his motives, but they have learned naught of any value. On it! <laughs> I got him. I burn the pirates! <laughs> they have a nose for the truth. Whatever this Sickard wants, we'll find out. Truly. I would be much obliged. I shall look forward to hearing what you learn then. Good luck. <laughs> flounder is right for that occasion. Fair enough. I was explaining in my head I'd already read the word flounder. <clears throat> right, we're gonna solve all the problems of the world. Man! I tell you what. Tell you what you want about Shadowbringers, but everything's wrapping up in a nice little bow. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, by way of the first step, I suggest we split up and make inquiries around town. Someone must know the Sickard. If you can approach the pirate's floor, the rest of us will seek out merchants and adventurers. It's a good news day, everybody. Everybody's happy. We're all doing well. What could possibly go wrong? We're gonna so we're, gonna we're literally bringing peace to all mankind. I think we call it a day soon and go and have a nice flag and a veil. Uh, oh, we need to go up. Where are we going? Uppers. Culinarians Guild. Alright. World peace. The beast men are going to be at peace. We've literally brought peace to an entire other world. <sighs> Feels good to be me. You know? Happiness and peace for all mankind. <laughs> Perfection itself. <clears throat> you bring peace to my heart. I know. I know. I know. It's just another thing that I did. I'm stiff as a rock. Oh, well, you know. I need to brag. 
Yar, matey. Curious about secretaries, yeah? As am I, friend, as am I. Sadly, I know nothing of the man save his troublesome seaworthy legs. But a bloody executioner's. Experience the marks of proven in their fortunes after his promotion. Quite how he achieved this is a matter of some debate. Killing little ghosties, I expect. As you know, the Thalassoscracy permits us to attack any Galean vessels. Yet these have all but vanished from the seas when the Empire turned on itself. In order to adapt, we Krakens have had taken some training with the East. But the executioners are less bored looking. Cannot imagine they would willingly abandon their old ways. So how then are they lining their coffers? Whatever their secret, they are not like to share it with their rivals, but mayhap you'll have more luck. Ha <laughs> There we go. He's French? He can still be a fucking pirate. Wow, way to judge. <sighs> the French can't be pirates. Shaking my knees. Uh, aft castle. Zoosh. He's from Ishgard. Not allowed to be a pirate if you're from Ishgard. <sighs> really are gatekeeping who can be pirates, guys. I don't think it's necessary. Ah, Roswin! Oh, hello. Oh, he wants to know about Sickhard. He's a wily bugger is what he is. Having found some clever way to make coin, they say, and traded it for Moonscat's place at Holy Hithlfer's side. There was a time we raced the executioners for our pick of the Empire's fleet. But the Garleans are gone, and them days are with them. Owing to which we've all just had to look for days of other ways to make ends meet. With that jumps up Bildrat Sickard landing the juiciest, whatever it may be. Not that we sirens are struggling, mind. We do well enough guarding fishing boats from the fishbacks and other beasties. You had the first pick of the produce for our trouble, see. Quality stuff at a bargain price. This we pass to our sisters and can't sail on account of them getting old or wounded or with child. And they cook it up and sell it for a pretty profit. Simple. Oh, I miss the days. Don't get me wrong. But when I see the girls with their little ones, I think to myself, life of peace and quiet ain't all that bad. Okay. All right. All right. Smooth. Smooth. For the kids. For kids. All right. Going back home. A seductive pirate. Well, I mean, you would imagine that's got to be the case, right? Or do you, or do you expect all pirates to have scurvy and no teeth? Because that's judgmental. These are modern pirates. I do, I really do. Whenever I think of a pirate, I think of wooden legs, parrots, the whole thing. <laughs> Even in 2022, that's how pirates all look. They all look the same. I see everyone has returned. Now, who would like to go first? But just as their imperial prey began to disappear, Sakaar turned the executioner's fortunes around with a mysterious new source of income. Whatever it is, it's nothing to scoff at. According to a tavern keeper I spoke to, the crew have been indulging themselves as never before. No amount of drink seems to loosen their tongues as to how they're coming by their coin. For my part, I spoke with a reporter from the Harbour Herald. The publication has been investigating the secret of the executioner's good fortune and making little headway. Plainly, the executioners do not wish the nature of their business to be made public. And I think I may know why. In the course of making inquiries on Hawker's Alley, an interesting fact came to light. Just as the executioners began to enjoy better fortunes, the price of crystal went into sharp decline. A sudden fall in demand, I was told. Curious, I contacted Harry Boulder. He has been watching the movements of the Beast Tribes, and my suspicions were proven correct. Despite ever-worsening relations between the Beast Tribes and the Thalassocracy, 
Neither Titan nor Leviathan have made an appearance of late. Possessing the Kobolds and Sahagin lack the means with which to summon them. Do you mean to say the Executioners are divesting from their crystals? All indications point to that conclusion, yes. Though we have no hard evidence as yet, we must investigate further. Agreed. So how do we proceed? Oh, I have a, an idea about that. In fact, I have already taken the liberty of making certain provisions. Okay. Alright. Aren't we happy? Is no Leviathan or Titan around, though? You know? During my inquiries, a disgruntled merchant informed me that a wholesaler of crystals had recently arrived in Limsa Laminsa, offering wares at prices far undercutting the competition. After asking around, I was able to gain an introduction and will shortly pose as a potential buyer in a bid to establish the crystal's provenance. The man is due to be Oskin's embrace in Lower Lenoskia shortly. I suggest we make our way there at once. Alfie couldn't pose as a fucking anything. Real talk. He, he couldn't. There's no way. I wouldn't sell a can of beans to Alpha, though. He pretends to be a general once. <laughs> he's rich. <laughs> That's all that matters. He's rich. He's rich. He's got swag cash. He can make the dream happen. I, you know, I have never PvP'd in this game. Not one time. Not a single time. A distrustworthy Lalafell. What a surprise. That appears to be our merchant. Wish me luck. Wait. If he truly is in league with the bloody executioners... You'll surely be wary of those allied to the Admiral. Scions, not least of all. Compared to yours and Flaws, mine is an unfamiliar face. Let me play the role of the buyer. Graha is right. And even if you aren't recognised on sight, you look too genteel to be mixing with society's underbelly. <laughs> genteel? Very well. I leave it to you, Graha. Whereas Graha looks like an absolute scrub. business with me, cat boy? I am... Um, <laughs> you're the crystal wholesaler. But I am. But you're no merchant. What do you want the crystals for? Um, I, uh... Did you guys not think this through? Don't look at us, you idiots. You'll give yourself away. Oh, I see. You're a weaponsmith, am I right? And you need crystals to make staffs like that fine specimen you've got there. <laughs> uh, th that's right. <laughs> I am indeed a weaponsmith. And I use naught but the finest materials. <laughs> I bid you show me your wares. Well, we don't just invite anybody into our storehouses. Takes time to establish trust. You understand. Look, I have a large and urgent commission. If the quality is satisfactory, I'll not quibble over the price. Alright then. It's plain there's no ordinary crystal adorning your staff, so I'll make an exception. Come with me. You are shit at this, rookie. Dude! <laughs> oh my god! What a fucking toolbox! Uh, it seems to be working. 
let's follow them. Hey guys, I did it! Woohoo! We're in! Thanks, Graha. You fucking bell sprout. Better be a lot of crystals. I got good money to spend. I'm almost a five millionaire. It may be bad, but the merchant had a guy nervously unable to answer the questions decided to give him a free explanation. And then invite him into his storehouses, which requires time to build up trust. Let's not forget that. Obski! Thank you very much, man, for the two months, brother. Thank you. I'm still a sprout. When do I lose the sprout tag? I want it to happen natural R. It went into that tone. Quietly now. Oh, it's not time-based. I thought it was time-based when you started playing. It's like progress-based, I see. That's a lot of crystals. So we kill everyone now, right? You don't find any finer. Especially not for the price. Indeed. I would expect to pay more than double for such quality. How could they possibly be so cheap? There's nothing unlawful about them. That's your worry. They're from Ogamoro, if you take my meaning. Wink. Stuff's as pure as it gets. You won't be disappointed. So, how much do you want? Ogamoro, taken from the kobolds, just as we expected. Suspected. Busted. That's enough. Shoot your gobs and turn around. Slowly. I'm sickered. Acting captain of the bloody executioners. No need to introduce yourselves. We know who you are. Scions. And we also know you've been chatting to the Admiral. Your eyes and ears everywhere, see? Comes with being the only true pirate crew left in Limsa. So we've established you ain't here to buy crystals. The question is, what are you here for? You are able to reveal yourself to us without knowing our objective. But that would explain your swift rise to power. You have spoken plain, so I shall return the favour. We came here to learn why the bloody executioners opposed the Admiral's will. And we have our answer. If Limsa laments to make peace with the kobolds, you would lose your source of newfound wealth. That's right. Just to remind you, though, we ain't breaking any rules here. The law forbids us from attacking any vessel not flying the Imperial flag. But it don't say nothing about beastmen. Only reason we keep our operation nice and quiet is because we don't want to know one taking our business. Wait. Just listen to the end, will you? For what it's worth, I have the highest respect for you and yours. Her especially. While the Maelstrom are worried about dirty in their fancy red clobber, you lot stormed Ugamoro and battered bleeding Titan himself. Raised a mug to you when I heard the news. So now we're following in your footsteps. Making sure the beastmen never summon their stinking gods again. Practically your successors, we are. 
When there were still Imperial ships about, we did our bit for Limsa and went after him. But with the Garleans gone, there's no one left to ply our trade on except the Beastmen. So let us have that, eh? Only fair. Not wrong. Morally grey. Uh, contentious though some may find your views. It is true that you have broken no laws. That being so, I see no reason why you should not state your case directly to the Admiral's face. Unless the acting captain of the only true pirate crew left in Lumsen the Minsa has some other cause to hide in a cave? <laughs> well said. Well said indeed. Alright. I'll meet with the Admiral. I'll even provide the venue. Yes, Delicia. I trust she won't turn down the invitation. Well, I mean... He's doing us a solid. Can you blame the lad for earning a crust? He's following the rules. Just kind of prevents peace. Sort of. <laughs> On rough seas. I thought myself the hunter, but it turns out I was the prey. A timely reminder that the pirate powers of Limsa and Minsa are not to be trifled with. All's well ends well. Grahatia's timely provocation had the desired effect, and Sikhan has agreed to a meeting. Let us hurry back to Limsa and Minsa and pass on this invitation to the Admiral. No peas! No peas! There can be no peace! Only war. No peas, man. No peas. Frodo, thank you so much for the prime, brother. Thank you. I'm wondering where this is taking us. The side stories go. Where is this taking us? This little jaunt over to uh, the Beastmen and whatnot. Lieutenant Inspector, your companions have already reported to the command room. Will you be joining them? Sure. Welcome back, my friends. What news? Pirates want to meet you. So they have been stealing crystals from the kobolds. My thanks for solving the mystery and securing a meeting besides. Suffice to say, I accept Sakaar's invitation. I would have you join me as my guests. The future of Limsa hangs upon the outcome of this meeting. I would have the Scion's presence to bear witness. Now up pie and peas. <laughs> There's going to be a load of people who've never had pie and peas. The glory of a pie and peas. Oh, this is pure pirates. Look at this. Look who's come crawling. Traitor! You can shove your peas! No peas! Welcome aboard, Admiral. I'll Wasn't wager that far you off, don't guess. remember me. Sickard, acting captain of the bloody executioners at your service. Twas kind of you to invite us. Now, if Captain Hillfear has a message for me, I bid you speak it. We have just the one demand. That you forget this bilge about making peace with the beastmen. Ours is a nation of pirates. Always has been, always will be. Deny us our right to plunder, and you deny who we are. Man's got a point. Too bloody right! Pirates till we die! What we want, we take! Piracy has no place in our future. Mic drop. What did she say? She's going to outlaw pirates. Pirates have no place. 
Our nation has prospered through piracy, tis true. Yet it is but one part of our long and storied history. Are they gonna kill her? That's Centuries war, ago, baby. our ancestors led a failed rebellion and were driven from their homes with little more than the shirts on their backs. In fear of their lives, they sailed south until they came to these shores. Finding the land occupied by kobolds, however, they were forced to turn to piracy in order to survive. And survive they did. But not so long ago, when the Empire threatened to crush everything we'd built, we set aside piracy and joined hands with our neighbors. This too was in order to survive. And survive we did. Time after time we fought the Empire, and time after time we won, and through trade with our newfound allies, we prospered more than we ever did through pillaging and plundering. The Empire teeters on the brink of collapse. Ere long, provinces like Whirlit and Bosia and many others will regain their freedom. Bosia? All right. When they do, our matchless fleet will lead the world in a new golden age of commerce. The tides favor us, and the ocean beckons with her vast bounty. But if we cling to the old ways, this great ship we call Limsa will trade the boundless seas for a lagoon. So we scorn the world's wealth for a plundered pittance then. Or shall She's we good. embrace change and thrive like our ancestors before us? The choice is yours. But if we are to prosper in the coming age, the whole of Vilbrand must become our ship, and a kobold and Sahagin our crewmates. Good speech. Rousing words. Might even be some truth in them. But pirating's all we've ever known. And we ain't about to give it up just because you say so. Still, we're all the Minsons here and no one wants a war. So where does that leave us? Long before you became Admiral, I heard you was captain of the League of Lost Bastards. That true? If so, you'd know how we pirates settle our differences. Ah, oh, Game of Bones! A duel. No, oh, Game of Bones! Very well. As Admiral of Limsa Laminsa, I accept your challenge. I would actually be really okay with her losing and him taking over Limsa and plunging the Alliance into chaos. I like Merly Boob a lot, but for story reasons, I'd be kind of okay with that. She's still got what it takes. It's gonna be like Doc Hollywood. <laughs> okay. That's a bit cheese. <laughs> this ain't over. Not till one of us is dead. Finish the job. Or I will. Oh, I will. Who 
is the captain! Captain Elphir! Ye fool! Twas over afore it began! Yar! Captain! Seems the whelps have been yapping while their master was abed. Sounds French. Listen well, all of ye. Since the signing of the Galadian Accord, we all of us have been part of the same crew. The crew with a good ship Limsa Laminsa. At the helm of that ship is the Admiral. And tis she who decides where we sail. Was I not clear on that point? Or did you forget whose deck you stand on? Nay. Then what in the seven hells are you playing at? It's all we know, Captain. If we ain't pirates, what are we? Lines of code. You're bloody idiots is what you are. Idiots with your old lives ahead of ye. Ye can do anything ye want. Be anything ye want. We're pirates, I, And we pirates love our loot. But that ain't our first love. Our first love is the sea. The sea! And what she brings us! Freedom! So hold fast to that. Let the brine-crusted usk that stands before you now be the last of them as knew naught save out of steel. And make of yourselves a new breed of pirate! Lad, I made ye me right hand because I saw something in ye. And I still do. You have the makings of a captain. All you lack's the belief. Well now, it seems we're of one mind after all. <laughs> Apologies for the misunderstanding, Admiral. We're with ye, wherever ye be headed. You have my thanks, Hilfir. <coughs> Your choice of dueling pistol did not escape my notice. Good old Annihilator. Ender of many a proud pirate's voyage. Mistbeard's vanished into legend. And it won't be long before I take my rest in the depths. Yet be that as it may. The old ways can only truly die. When we've dealt the Empire the telling blow. There'll be stormy seas ahead, no doubt. But I'm yeah. trusting ye to steer us Where's through Miss to Beard? the other side. And he knows? Annihilator is a shit name for a gun. A gun. <laughs> Annihilator is a terrible name for a gun. Oh, it is. Come on, that's a crap name. It's not? You like it? You think that's a cool name for a gun? Oh, come on. Annihilator? I had anticipated a duel, and an officer Hilfir would intervene. Full glad I am that he did, but have been ashamed to kill the boy. Instead, the whelp has learned a valuable lesson, and we have made peace amongst ourselves. All that remains to do is likewise with our neighbors. 
Well, once again, guys, we have brought peace. We really are on top form today. Now, I need to hardly tell you, but any attempt to negotiate with the tribes is doomed to fail unless their minds can first be wrested from the grip of their gods. And so in the meeting, we seek to arrange with the kobolds and have you free their leader of Titan's influence. Leave it to us. We will open his ears to reason. You have my thanks. Ere we proceed, there is something you should know. Some 50 years passed when the Sahagin swarmed at our hulls in ever greater numbers. Limsa entered into a covenant with the Kobolds. To men shall go the bounty of the sea. To Kobolds shall go the bounty of the land. An ostensibly equitable arrangement, conspicuously lacking in detail. Aye. Inadvertently or not, the wording was ambiguous. And we took advantage of it, moving in to claim the northern reaches of Lenoskia, which the Kobolds believed theirs. Bloodshed followed, then bloodshed to answer the bloodshed, and on and on it went till every ilm of Vilbrand before the strain of our conflict. This is not history, you understand. It is the present, fresh and raw. And with their kindred's blood yet on our hands, we will struggle to regain the Kobold's trust, even if we should cure their tempered. Admiral, you speak of obstacles we are like to encounter at the meeting, but as things stand, I see no reason why the Kobolds would agree to a meeting in the first place. And so we must provide a reason. I'll restore their stolen crystals to them and personally deliver the cargo along with my apologies. Wait. They would welcome us in their midst not to speak of peace, but to have you at their mercy. Aye. And given the wealth of crystals we will bring, I'll wager they will attempt to summon Titan there and then. Meaning a high priest would need to be present, for whom we could administer the cure. Precisely. He is the fish I would catch. But he will not be alone, nay. He'll have guards on hand, and they will lay down their lives to protect him. That's a single death on the Kobold's side would jeopardize our chance at peace. And there may venture found us. Yet it need not. What if we were to employ the Conqueror's Chain? Though we would still have to weaken the Kobolds, it would allow us to subdue them without inflicting lasting harm. The artifact misbid used to take goods and not life. Aye, that would serve. Well done, Marshal. Sir! No friends. What well, think you of our strategy? The effects of tempering on the accumulative. We may safely assume that the High Priest's exposure to primal influence is extensive. It will therefore take a great deal of ether to reverse its effects, not to mention time. Time during which Alice would be defenseless. Even should we all look to her protection, I'm not convinced we could keep an entire army of kobolds at bay. Well, I'm happy to take the risk. It's not as if we have any other choice. Besides, it's what Tesslene would do. And had I not followed her example, we wouldn't have a cure for tempering. Which has a chance to bring peace to Vilbrand. So I'm going to cure that priest or die trying. Yeah, Alice! Stocks up even further! And I believe in you too. You and everyone. I know you'll keep me safe. It's settled then. See to your preparations and make for Camp Overlook. We will join you there or not. So the trolley! <laughs> I don't think she could even she could rise the levels of trolley, but she's getting there, man. Aye. She's uh you know, if I would have invested in Alze stocks pre-Coils of Bahamut, I'd have been so wealthy right now. What's that? What is it? 
Oh, is it something Emma's done? Yeah, I haven't ordered that. Is it one of ours? <laughs> Just checking now, Bex. Checking. Oh, yeah, it's shin pads for Max. Yeah, hold on. All right, back in a minute, guys. Just call Emma. Aha. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> Mike has um, sent like headphones to Bex, like a headset. So he's done that on Amazon before. Problem is, he's like sent other stuff. I shouldn't be muted now. I'm not muted. That is a lie. I can see the levels. Um. So, <laughs> he's he's sent soundproofing. And now for like shin pads, the Bex. So genius, honestly. I've tried to get Mike to put on G Shade. I have. I've explained G Shade. I've showed it to him, but he's a. Uh, I don't know. I can't get him to do it. G-Shade is so much better. It is. It's so much better. Like, night and day. Not putting it on is, like, just silly. It's so washed out by comparison. I mean, you can adjust it. You don't, it doesn't have to be too strong. You can set it to whatever you want. Oh, my phone's ringing. That's good.
sorry, Bex. Yeah, she looks like she sent all Max's football stuff to you. Bit of a bummer. <laughs> That's a bummer. I'm wondering what's... I, I really don't know where this is taking us right now. I was expecting some Endwalker setup, but we haven't had that. I'm just having my sandwich because I'm starving. I was expecting some sort of, like, rewind the gates, you know? Something like that. But instead, we're happy go luckily making the world go round at a wonderful, wonderful happy time. And there's no way they're going to have us fight Titan again. Is this where Gabu's stocks rise even higher? <laughs> Have you learned your lesson? <laughs> I have, yeah. But hold on. I'm trying to think where this goes. Oh, how it links up. All I can imagine is that we get to a point where we've almost brought really good peace to Eorzea and then fucking Calamity. I generally feel like this meeting is going to go well. Oh, Xenos is just going to drop Black Rose all over everybody. Although that's all gone. He says, he says he's got something else in mind. I don't know what that is. I can't gamble because I don't know where it's going. That's the thing. Hmm. What would Xenos want to do? That's the question. Well, he wants to fight me again. We know that. But what would he do to inspire that? I mean, typically, he likes to bring untold suffering to the people I care about. That's his typical MO. He does like his sword, swords, but so do a million people on Reddit. I don't think Xenos' master plan is to just learn the ways of the blade. I can't see him rolling deep in Healy's. <laughs> Xenos with the crisp. <laughs> it is nice having uh, Xenos in chat. To help us on our merry way. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Kota, thank you for the 19 months, brilliant magician. Grass in your office. Thank you, man. Thank you. Really enjoying it. Kabosi as well. Thank you very much, all of you. Okay. <clears throat> Brace for death. Brace for death. I do feel this is going to go fine. I feel I feel like this is going to go totally fine. Alphano wasn't lying when he said he'd be defense. I'd be defenseless. So I'm counting on you all to give me the time I need. Our sole purpose will be to keep you out of harm's way. So leave that to us and focus on your own task. Indeed. I should want you for ether. You need only say the word. Okay. 
Gabu! Did you follow us here? There's something important that I want to say to the High Priest. Express state say. Please let me come with you. Please. I'm sorry, but it's too dangerous. I need you to promise me that you'll stay here where it's safe, alright? How in the fuck is that thing cute? You guys are insane. My apologies for the wait. It took time, but we have secured our audience. All unfolded as expected. At the mention of my returning their crystals in person, the kobolds suddenly remembered how keen they were to be reconciled. So, in the glorious spirits of cooperation, we are to be received by Patriarch Zardar of the Second Order. It awaits our pleasure at the Navy. If you are ready, let us proceed to the Ugamoro Mines at once. Think of it like it's an armoured fucking rat creature. What are you talking about? Cute. You guys are insane just because it's small? Or what? It's adorable? Are you Jesus Christ. Puppies are adorable. Armoured rat creatures are not adorable. <laughs> You're... Oh, okay. Like... I'd hate to see your guys' pets, then. False. <laughs> what do you mean, false? What? Oh, we're going back to... Oh, God, I remember the way. I think. I remember the way. I remember the way. That's it. Yeah. Nope. This way. Alright. <clears throat> this etherite will bear us to our quarry. Should he make to summon Titan as I anticipate, we will halt the ceremony and restrain him. At this, all hells will break loose, and we will have an army of kobolds to entertain until Alisei's work is done. Just remember, none must die. We weaken them and let Izanar do the rest. It's time. Stay the course, my friends. I spy, car I spy calmer waters beyond this squall. Okay. <laughs> right, don't kill. Just maim. Unsuffer Gabu? What do you mean? <laughs> you guys are ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. Oh, the parents are still there? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> oh my god. The dead parents are still Greetings, there. Greetings, Patriarch. I am Merlwib Lufisvin, Admiral of Limsa Leminsa. I come before you to offer my sincerest apologies for the many wrongs committed by my people against you and yours. You were foolish to come here. Stupid, unwise foolish. The Great Father shall have your souls for your folly. Straight away. <laughs> Aye. Just as we thought. Now, Alize! Quickly! You don't need to tell me! <laughs> Let none pass. We must grant her as much time as we can. Summon the pig! Here we go. The girl seeks to harm the patriarch with vile magics. Kill her! Slaughter! Slay! Kill her! You're in my sights. 
What's she doing? Oh, she's just going rapid fire. Okay. Fair enough. Well, can't argue with that. She's just going ham. Fair enough. Ready. Go, Angelo. Ah, the sorcery is this? Oh. Alize, you all right? Ah, this tempering is too severe. I can't finish the job. So one person's ether alone is not enough. Oh, just what we need. Are you expecting a thank credit inter intervention? I don't know about that. I don't know about a thank credit intervention. Not that we ever really know where that guy. There. He's a there. There. In my sights. Here you are, Alize. More power. It's fine. More! I need more ether. I can see that, but hold on. There's a lot going on. Heal Alfie. Fine, dealt with, dealt with. Just a little more. Uh, these don't take any damage. Dead. Um, I need my ether. Sure. There you go. Oh, is that guy actually dead? <laughs> You're dead now, girl. Finished. Done for. Dead. Uh oh. No, Admiral. It's too dangerous. I made my decision before I came here. No matter what it costs me, Limsa will have peace. Still alive. She's still good. She's still good. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. One heal.
she's good. Yeah. No killing of Merly Boobs today. Not on my watch. Oh, a little more ether. Just a little more. I can finish this. Doubt. Thank you. It'll work this time, I promise. Yes, this will do. Here I go. Yo, Piggy. How are we expected to do this for loads of people, though? A lot of these dudes have been tempered for a really long no, time. Did it work? What? You know what you did. Ah, ah, what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry. But they died by your hand. You sacrificed them to summon Titan. No. No, 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 no! Why? Why would I do such a thing? <laughs> would that there were a cure for the victims of the Tempered. summoning is false. He only hurts us and those we love. For a long time, his voice filled my mind. He told me to do terrible things. Awful, unspeakable, terrible things. But I didn't give in to it. And you mustn't either. There's been too much pain already. So please, end the suffering. What... what have I done? We share this child's desire, Patriarch. An end to summoning, for it spells naught but misery for both our peoples.
For many long years, man and kobold have feuded over territory, pillaging and perishing for the earth beneath our feet. It may be said that we fought to survive, but what we have sown in blood, we have reaped in suffering, and it cannot go on. I would see us set aside the past and work together for peace. It was wrong of me to hurt my own in the name of the Great Father. Sinful, evil, wrong. But that doesn't mean there can be peace between us. Men cannot be trusted. The bounty of the land was to be ours, and yours the bounty of the sea. But you broke the pact. Violated, breached, broke. Unready as we were, what choice had we but to call upon the Divine to rid ourselves of your tyranny? None, and I do not blame you for it. In violation of the spirit, if not the letter, of the pact, we took your lands for our own. The fault lies wholly with us. On behalf of all Lamincens, I offer you my humblest apology. I pray you'll find it in your heart to accept it. <clears throat> Sorry. Yet I know an apology alone will not serve to make things right. So, we will revise the pact to leave no room for doubt. And any who violate it shall face justice swift and certain. No, we won't be fooled. Not again. Please, hear me to the end. Fleeting though it was, there was a time when man and kobold abided together in harmony, in cooperation. In those days, your people shared the secrets of smelting. Knowledge which allowed Limsa Laminsa to thrive. Much of what we have, we owe to the kobolds. And so, for the good of all who dwell on this isle, I wish to make you an offer. We will bear your people's wares to every corner of the world and trade them in your stead. In return, we will bring you the bounty, not only of the sea, but lands both near and far. Whatever you desire, the Navigator as my witness, you shall have it. There will be no more man and beastmen, just the crew of the great ship that is Vilbrand. And together, we will share in the wealth of the world if you'll only accept our hand in friendship. We want to believe you. We truly do. But we believed you before and you betrayed us. Fool, deceive, betrayed us! There are bad men, it's true. But there are also good ones. And the ones before you are the best of them. They were always kind to me. Caring, nice, kind, and I trust them with my life. Before I became Admiral, I was a pirate. I stole. I fought. I stained the sea red with blood. Such is my past, and I dare not forget it, however much I might want to. Not Nihil here. <laughs> that is death penalty. 
Oh. The pistol I used to pass judgment on my own sire when he fell thrall to Leviathan and betrayed his comrades. Death penalty and annihilator. It's loaded. If you were to point it at my head and pull the trigger, I would most assuredly die. Though it isn't much, my life is the single most valuable thing I possess. If it will suffice to atone for past wrongs, take it. A single bullet to annul the old pact and my blood to write it anew. What comes after, I entrust to this man, my second in command. I know that he will do his utmost for the happiness of all who call Vilbrand home. There's been enough death. Thinking about it. I do not trust you. Not yet. But Gabu does. <clears throat> and I will trust him. We want you to know that we respect your faith. There's nothing wrong with giving thanks to the land which sustains you. But summoning is different. Should you hear of anyone who would attempt it, we ask that you appeal to their better judgment. Or failing that, seek our aid. We're always ready to help. Many and more of my brethren are yet enthralled to the Great Father, just as I was. If you could free them too, I would be grateful. Appreciative, thankful, grateful. Adorable. <laughs> Tis we who should be grateful, Patriarch. I thank you for affording us this chance. Thank God you don't choose what happens in this story. <laughs> <laughs> Historically, it's not really worked out for us. <laughs> You're not wrong, man. You're not wrong. <clears throat> Wait till Baldur's Gate 3, though. Good times abound. <laughs> Good times abound. Just you wait for Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, mama. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ugh. Then I can have some fun again. <laughs> then I can have some fun. <sighs> well, okay. Gabu did okay. Gabu did okay. And once again, it all worked out perfectly. 
Tremendous. Another joyous day. Another momentous moment for Eorzea. Where we can look upon it and smile. Every day's a dream. Nothing but perfection. <clears throat> All is well indeed. Say Gabby was adorable? No! What the fuck? No, it's a filthy little rat monster with metal armor on it. It stinks. But see, we have found a way forward with the kobolds. Next, we will help the Second Order to free their tempered brethren from thraldom. <clears throat> There's far more from the only Order, of course. And it'll take no small amount of time and effort to reach the rest. But reach them we will, however long it takes. I would say that I was in your debt. But that has long been true. But instead, I will say thank you for helping us to plot a new course, not only for Limsa Laminsa, but all of Aeosia. I like Gabu. It's not cute, though. <clears throat> That's all I'm saying. It's literally all I'm saying. I like Gabu. He's just not cute. Futures rewritten. Alphano's face is a picture. Equal parts jubilation. Wrong opinion. <laughs> Go back to WoW. That's brutal, dude. That's brutal. <laughs> That's brutal. Fuckers. <clears throat> right. Let's return to the Rising Stones. Here comes disaster. Admiral, something strange is afoot at the floating city. Yeah. Breathe, man. What is it? I think it's best you see for yourself. Please, come with me. Of course it was coming. Leviathan, Leviathan, dun dun. <clears throat> what in the world is that? What? A tower. <laughs> Thanks, I'll say. You can see it too, then. I feared I was losing my wits. One moment I was patrolling, as usual, and the next it was just... there! We've been merging with another world, then. Convergence is a fuck. Yes? This is she. I am. I... I'm looking at it. What? Understood. Send the Elder Seedseer my regards. There's one in Gridania as well. Independence Day? The communications officer. It seems this isn't the only tower. They've sprung up all across Eorzea. Nothing more is known. Only that they appear to be of Garlean construction. Our allies on the Alamegan front are on highest alert. What's the signal? Forgive my directness, but would you join them? They may well need the help. Of course, Admiral. We shall make all haste. My thanks. I will return to Limsa to weigh our response. Look for Commander Hext when you arrive in Alamigo. And may the Navigator speed you on your way. Looks elegant to me. Nodders, nodders. Meanwhile, huh?
Wow. Hmm. What's it broadcasting? I assume we can't fly over here, right? Oh? No. They could have been warped in with Magitek on summoning spells, right? Or are we merging worlds? No. Well, <coughs> this is a mystery. Lisa will have all the answers. Lisa will know. <coughs> I believe. At least knows what's up. Thank you for coming so soon. I'll send for Commander Aldin at once, and we can decide what to do about these infernal towers. You want to just blow them up? Ah, Roka Preserve! It can't be. The palace! After them! At least we saved the kobolds. You're here, good. Well, well, to be received by such an illustrious cast. <gasps> Why? Even the hero of the peace is here. I feel quite starstruck. Is that... Asahi? His body more like. You don't fool us. Oh, you saw straight through it. Anyone would think you dealt with Asians before. Permit me to introduce myself. I am Fan Daniel, and may I say what a pleasure it is to finally make your acquaintance. He seems nice. My, straight to business is it? Suit yourself. It is my intention to recreate the final days. To which end, I have distributed a collection of rather ingenious devices, or towers, <laughs> which will, in time, towers. give rise to the grandest of spectacles. The final days? But it was the Asians who laboured to prevent them. You're quite right, though I would expect no less from one responsible for eliminating my unsundered colleagues. Honestly, the three of them were obsessed with restoring the one true world. As a sovereign individual, however, I never had much interest in such things. I mean, why bother when you're just another sundered minion? Admittedly, Elidibus was not convinced by that argument. But thanks to you, I'm finally free of his incessant nagging. Don't blame this on us. Fuck you, man. Free to use my powers as I see fit, to fulfill my heart's desire. And my heart's desire is to lay this half-broken world to waste, leaving nary a fleck of dust behind. What? Why would you want such a thing? <laughs> Why? Because I want wretched creatures who ask such meaningless questions to die! The fair point. <laughs> you! And you! <laughs> and you! 
and you. <clears throat> I want you all to die. Wow. And I want to die too. Oh, yes. I want to die and take everyone with me in a paroxysm of pain and suffering. Hmm. I'm different, you see. From the ancients who clung to dear life, and from you. So don't bother trying to reason with me. You will find I have no reason, or creed, or any such tripe. I just want to destroy the world. But please do resist with all your might. It will add to my enjoyment. Hmm. Now then! Ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes peeled, for the curtains have risen on the spectacle to end all spectacles. We, the Telophoroi, shall be your performers and this very star our stage. But I nearly forgot. I have a message for you. <clears throat> My esteemed patron, Lord Xenos, eagerly awaits you at the heart of the chaos. While I wish only to destroy the world, he exists solely to relive a certain, hmm, transcendent moment with you. And it is for that reason he would reduce all to ash. He only wants to destroy the world. Pray see to it his dreams do not go unfulfilled. For if you should disappoint him, my trusty companion here, whom I've dubbed Luna Bahamut, will burn your cities and everyone in them. Everyone out! My men will tend to the blaze. Okay. <clears throat> I'm hoping for a much deeper motive from our boy, Fan Daniel. I thought they were going with the, he's lived forever and now he just wants to die. <laughs> Fuck off, Fat Daniel. Uh, if, you know, if he went with the idea of he's lived for so long and he wants to die. But we could just kill him, so that doesn't fit. That puzzle piece doesn't fit. He's also somewhat still waiting for the commands of Lord Xenos. Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I mean, he's very colourful and blusterful and full of shit. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's hard to tell because it was completely disguised what his real motive is. If he doesn't want to do the rejoining, let's assume that's true. He doesn't want the rejoining. He was never particularly interested in that. What would he want? Yeah, but just dying isn't enough. There are lots of ways an Asian can die. If he was just seeking out his own death. I mean, he can play on the idea he wants it to be an extravaganza of sorts, but that's a little weak, and I think they, they wouldn't do that. Hmm. 
Need a bit more info yet. <clears throat> oh, no, 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 no. We could stop Asians being reborn. Otherwise, the other... Like you said, all the other Asians wouldn't be gone gone. We can permanently get rid of them. Check your Twitter. I don't want to. <laughs> what, you drawing copium faces all over me? <clears throat> Thank you. No, it's not like I have to figure it out. That's not the point. It's, it's, uh, I'd like to have some fun, and we all do. As to what might be going on. You're welcome. Yeah, no problem. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I didn't see this, actually. I actually didn't see this. Such lies, such lies, such lies. Okay, we need a little bit more. Is this still 5.4? Yeah, okay. Thank goodness everyone's safe. We've managed to put out the fire, though not quickly enough to save the garden. Ah. Raban, can I leave it with you to send word to the Alliance? I'm going to take a unit and investigate the tower. We need to find out what it's for. We'll go with you. No, you won't. You'll rest. From what Merly Boob tells me, you're due some time off duty. Should we learn anything about the tower, we'll be sure to share it with you. Until then, bedtime. Uh, yeah, just ban anybody who's posting spoilers. It's just so dumb. Very well. If you need our help, don't hesitate. And take care, both of you. The Fanassian is on the prowl. It'll not be long before we call on you and yours again. Bedtime, you. Oh, no, we won't only mobs. 99% of the people here can control themselves. It's fine. So you really did it. You found a cure for tempering. It makes me want to do something heroic right now. Speaking of which, I better get ready and set out for the tower. Okay. Let's go. I bet Tataru's got an opinion. We're just gonna burn out the bad. Burn out the bad. Easy. Ah, you're back too. Good. We've received words to reports from the Alliance. Since we're all here, perhaps those who bore witness to the events in Alamigo could treat the rest of us to a first hand account? No sooner do we overcome one problem than another appears. It all seemed tediously predictable, but for the endless variety of our foes. <laughs> this Van Daniel sounds even more unhinged than his patron. Unhinged, perhaps, but no fool. For all his pantomime theatrics, he gave away little about his plot. We know only that he intends to recreate the final days, and that the towers will somehow facilitate this. He also called his dragon Luna Bahamut. Let's not forget that little detail. And the creature certainly did resemble the Elder Primal. What we need is Luna Luiswa, right? Moon Boy! Moon Grandad! That may be, but the fact that it answered to Fan Daniel would suggest they are not one of the same entity. I think it more probable that it is some manner of simulacrum with one of Asian magics. Whatever it is, for now we can work but closely with the Alliance and remain vigilant. I believe that concludes our news. What of yours, Yushtola? 
I have seen I have been to the Sultana, knowing how quick the immortal flames are to dispose of their tempered. I judged it best to provide them with the cure first. As soon as I had sufficiently recovered, I travelled to Uldar and delivered the porxies to her grace, along with detailed instructions on their use. Yet my visit chanced to coincide with the arrival of some troubling tidings. The immortal flames had been on the cusp of agreeing to a truce with the Amaljar when negotiations abruptly collapsed. The Amaljar claim that a number of their kind have been abducted, and that men are responsible. Naught is known of the perpetrators as yet, but as the immortal flames went about investigating the abductions, they came upon one of Van Daniel's towers. On the subject of the towers, you may be interested to learn that they are not an exclusively Eorzean phenomenon. According to the Alliance, they have been sighted as far afield as Yangshia. But it would seem reasonable to assume they are everywhere. We simply have not found them. Well, as you said yourself, we can do little on for now, saying so remain vigilant. But since we are dealing with a dragon, ostensibly at least, I believe it would behoove us to enlist the aid of an authority on such foes. Estinian! Estinian? Now, just a moment. If he could be persuaded to lend us his lance, I would be the first to welcome it, but the truth is, we will struggle even to find him. <laughs> I've got his number! 1-800-DRAGON-MAN! No worries. If indeed he is hiding, we do have ways of locating him regardless. If there are no objections, we shall depart at once. One eight hundred Dragon Man, easy. <laughs> well, rather than sitting around, I think I might go to each of the city states and educate them in the use of the porkses. They would doubtless appreciate it. But might you consider taking a moment to rest before leaving? You would be fresher for the tasks ahead. Well, my friend, our moments of triumph didn't last long. <laughs> yeah. I really could have gone to bed. No, no, no. Was ever the way. <laughs> hey, this is every day in the Scions, buddy. Better get used to it, Rook. Save it, we shall. I, for one, do not intend to allow a nihilistic madman to take us all to the grave with him. Not when the future holds such promise. Nay, I will do all in my power to protect those of whom I hold dear, just as you have always done. Nodders, mate, nodders. <laughs> no meanwhile, eh? No meanwhile. Distinct lack- oh, wait. Meanwhile. Somewhere in the locks. The scouts should have been back by now. I'm gonna go and find them. Oh dear. Oh, thank goodness for that. Tempered? Glory be. Glory be. Not dead. Meanwhile. It's not dead. <laughs> not dead. Dude, buy a light.
The piles have been driven as planned, and the first of the beasts has roared to life. The first of the beasts? Moreover, I am pleased to report that preparations are well underway for the rest. Ere long, chaos shall reign over all the land, as befits the final days. Call it what you will, so long as my friend returns to me, fangs bared and claws sharpened, I care not. Of course, my lord. By strange coincidence, your dear friend chanced to be present when I made my declaration. I took the liberty of informing her that you await her coming, though I confess, I may have singed her a little in the process. And why do you tell me this? Are you in such a hurry to die? Ah, my apologies. I must guard my tongue lest it be the end of me. Though, there is something to be said for such a glorious death. Better to fall to one who has it all than falter before an inferior. I shall keep it in mind as a contingency. For now, however, I shall proceed with the plan. My lord. Hmm. I must find myself a new weapon. One worthy of our long-awaited reunion. I have the very, very sneaking suspicion Fan, Fan, Fan Daniel is way more powerful than Xenos and really just doesn't give a fuck. I susp. Uh... <laughs> thank, you, Phil, thank you for the two quid. <laughs> well, it's all gods of shit. Are you happy now? Uh, happy? I'm curious. I'm curious. That's the end of 5.4, is it? Osif, yeah. Osif, thank you very much for three months, man. And Darth Balconator, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I don't think uh, Mr. Fan Daniel is uh, playing second fiddle to Xenos, particularly. No, I don't think so. He does appear to be looking for very interesting ways to die. Going down in a blaze of glory. Uh, no, we'll start 5.5 .5 either tomorrow or Monday. Finish it up. Yes. That will be the strat there. That will be the play. No, do it now. No, 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 no. I want to finish up uh, as we go in, over to Mexico. I want to, I want that, I want that to happen. I want that time. I want to see the next 48 man raid. I want to see the next 48 man raid. The last one was so fun. I'm full of fucking questions now, though. Jesus Christ. All of them. Trying to figure out their motives is always so good. And I've been 100% wrong every single time. Every single time. I've literally been wrong every single time. It just feels so simple that he'd be wanting to go down in like a blaze of glory. That feels just ever just too simplistic. What do you think his motives are? I'm not sure. He does seem genuine in terms of wanting to die in the best way possible. And after so long, maybe he's built up this fantasy of what death would be for him. It just, it just feels too 
basic for an FF14 story. I would expect that in some other games, but it's not what I expect here. I need to know more about the difference between the Sundered and the Unsundered. I think. I'm trying to think back to all the stuff we learned in Amaro. What's wrong with a little mass murder suicide? Nothing. I'm all on board for mass murder suicide, as you well know. I'm down for it. I'm down for it. At the moment, he's not revealed his hand. I think that's safe to say. He's not revealed his hand, like, at all. In any way. <laughs> like, lives for mass murder suicide? I mean, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> Just spare Gabu. There's no Gabu hate here. Not at all. There's no Gabu hate. He's just not adorable and cute. Which is what you've been pushing at me. You wear the gloves? I can find Daniel one and the same. <laughs> I'm not that theatrical. I'm not that theatrical. I don't think I've ever turned down the idea of uh, genocide, but I've had the choice. Not that I recall, anyway. Wrong opinion? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> Discriminating Asians are sundered and unsundered? I'm sorry, there's no discrimination there. There's none. Is that a point of privilege? Is it privilege calling them sundered and unsundered? Allow me to cut straight into the heart of our troubles. Cool stream title. I'm sure Bex is having a good time. Oh, of course! The Queen is back! Yes! Queenie is back, and now she's tempering people. But we've got a fix for that. We can fix it with piggy power. For sure. Then we were forced to abandon the castrum. It was our hope that Messiah's display of force was no more than an act of desperation to buy them time. But since then, Queen Gunhilda has been quick to join the fray each time we engage their forces, leaving us little choice but to retreat. We have sustained heavy casualties. Many of those not slain outright have been made slaves to Messiah's will. There have been no deaths today, by the way. Zero deaths. I fear she could defeat our forces utterly if she chose to. Our Dalmascan allies, however, have information to the contrary. Put it plainly. We believe the 4th Imperial Legion has all but exhausted its resources. In the wake of Emperor Varus' death, the War of Succession has brought the whole of Garlemal to the brink of collapse. Gamba? Nothing to gamba on! I can't gamba on 5.5 on yet. We just don't know enough. As for Gabranth, he has refused orders to return to the capital. Apparently he harbors dreams of building some new nation on the ruins of Dalmasca. He may once have played the loyal servant to Solace, but there's no love lost between him and Varys. It seems his allegiance to Garlemald died with the Emperor. If what you say is true, cutting ties with Garlemald has deprived his forces of any troops or supplies they would otherwise have received. I don't need clues. I don't need clues. I don't need clues. I don't need clues. We'll probably do 5.5 tomorrow. I want the full day. I want to be able to play it through. That's the only reason. I don't want to half ass the finale of Shadowbringers. I want to have a nice fucking day going into it. Lord Ian was quick to reach the same conclusion and ordered an assault on the 4th Imperial Legion. That would explain why reinforcements got brought to get to reach the Bosian. Bosian. Bosian southern front. Bosian. Bosia. Exactly. Even as we speak, allies from both Dalmasca and Naxia endeavor to halt their advance. Nevertheless, our foes on the Bosian front of Gunhilda's blades at their command. Giving them the upper hand, but that there were a way to free them from Missia's control. There may yet be hope, Marsak. I recently received word from the Scions that a cure for their affliction has been found. Oh good, it's up to date with where we are. However, the procedure would require a great deal of preparation, and that is to say nothing of the difficulty in employing this treatment in combat. If only I hadn't been captured by Messiah. None of this would have happened. Fawn lies with me, and I'm the one who failed to see through her deceit. You're not to blame for any of this. 
Aye, no use mooning about feeling sorry for yourself. Next you'll be saying we should have never reforged the blades of Gunilda. What a dick. Commander, we received word of another summoning. Makoto, wait. What are you doing? Must be the summonings, right? But I can't think about that later. Please, Flo, you gotta stop her. Yeah, we just finished 5.4. The towers are here. And Daniel is being so wonderfully theatrical. He loves it. And he cannot wait to die in the most spectacular fashion. It will be the most ceremoniously wonderful death you have ever seen or witnessed. Roll up, roll up to witness it. Yo, we got a group up. Any groupers? Woohoo! Y'all group of Buzzy? He's losing it? That's exactly what he sounds like! Are you trolling? No group? No groupers? Oh, setting up a group for the raid. Oh, okay, okay. No problem. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I hear you. Andre! If I get distracted by a, a critical engagement, though, that's your fault. If the Queen were to appear, we would only be a burden. It must go on without us. Oh, okay. Where are we going? We're going all the way over there. Okie dokie. Uh, I won't bother with any buffs for this. No buffers. Yeah, apparently we're close to the next raid. And I cannot wait. Like, the first raid was so fun. I cannot get used to these names. It's not Uchiha. It's Alana. I believe I've got two more raids to unlock here. As well as getting zero vuln, one shot the duel scenario. Which will be absolutely free. I should have played BM Hunter so I can heal myself. Lowborn traitor. Don't borrow. You'll only provoke her. Now the tables have turned. Now hold still. This won't hurt a bit. Wait, please don't. So that's like a remote. And now you're enthralled. Great. Oh, you broke it. Something wrong, Messiah. You spared two of your captives.
do it. Apologies. Seems I misspoke. If you come to bark orders, don't bother. The next step in my plan has already been set in motion. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hmm. No matter where we go, no matter what story we're doing, it's all fucked. <laughs> <laughs> no matter which direction we go in, it's all fucked. Fucked to the left, fucked to the right, fucked in front of me and fucked behind me. I certainly hope she knows what she's doing. That icon of hers is all we have left to buy us time until reinforcements arrive. Oh, little pinky look. But what on earth could this new plan of hers be? Oh, I do so love a good scheme! Alas! I'm not allowed to help her! <clears throat> Subtle, bro. Subtle. Let's just return to Gangos. I see more than enough. Oh! Quacko? He's not a traitor as well. No way. Oh, sneaking, sneaking. Oh, she's seeing the future, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Duh. If they played the Endwalker trailer through Makoto Vision, I wouldn't even be mad. I really wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad at all. That's another step. We have you surrounded. Oh, mustache. Batteries. It's over, Messiah. We know full well the crystal's power is spent. Yeah, I mean, Makoto did warn her. She's like, we should charge it for a loads, right? While we're here. Another vision. Did you see it too? Uh-huh. Camp floor. We must inform the others. What's this emo? Zero ding dong. <laughs> Don't ding dong me. Chris, we need an emo that fights back the ding dong. I need war. I, re I need to return fire. War! Blast them with lasers! Subs, blast the blast the dig dogs with lasers! Fire the lasers! I demand. 
I hold the power of the trolley. There you go. <laughs> Cast the magic. Blast the lasers. All fire. No hold back. Fire! Unleash hell. Oh no, there's more Dinkadonkers. <laughs> no, no, chat wars. Don't start the chat wars. I need some catapults, Chris. The great Ding Dog Wars of 2022. It was here on this battlefield that they fell. Now that the Blade Inspector has arrived, would you care to elucidate your findings, Makoto? <laughs> the fields were littered. <laughs> the, the streets were lined with blood that day. To speak plainly, I believe the apparition summoned at Castrum Lut Lacus Latour, and again on the southern front, is not what we would call an icon or a primal. Not in the strictest sense of the term. The hell's you talking about, lass? I've heard my fair share of tales about primals. And what you've told me, this Queen Gunilda fits the description to a bloody tittle. God, to our records. Queen Gunilda wielded the power of the blade, not to summon a god, but to become one, that she could protect our people. Tittles? Ah, oh, right. So she made herself a vessel for its power, then? Messiah claimed that the uh, fourth umbral calamity was averted. The queen was able to return to her mortal form. Tales passed down through the ages state much of the same. It appears Queen Gunhilda was able to call upon its power at will. And that would mean a living vessel is required to wield the blade's true power. But that does not explain why it is instead manifested in the form of Queen Gunhilda. Based on our experience of the Castrum and what we observed on the Southern Front, I believe that Blade was imbued with the Queen's memories in the form of an ether at the moment of her death, and that the Crystal Focus was used to draw them out. Does that not sound familiar for? Ether absorbed into a vessel and therefore used to call forth unspeakable monstrosities? Yeah, it does. Precisely. It is a phenomenon quite similar to the aura site was discovered in Rabanastra. I don't believe we've done DR Doctor yet. I think that's where we're getting to. As you may recall, Argath Thalifus harbored a burning desire to rule, which was made manifest in the ruins of Lasselia. Uh, sure. Do I remember that? Did I do that? Hmm. Aye. It was the same for my brother Bagamanon. Did I do that? Where did I do that? Evilus. Okay. His guilt over the deaths of the princes, prince and princess served as a catalyst for his own grisly transformation. Now I remember. Yes, I remember. I remember. I forgot. We've done a lot in the last few weeks, okay? We've done a lot of stuff. Bex keeps literal notes for me after stream, <laughs> so I can remind myself. <laughs> I have pages and pages of notes. I see. From what we have learned of the Holy Blade thus far, there's much in common with Aurasite. This is merely conjecture, but I suspect that Save the Queen was actually crafted from Aurasite and altered to amplify the desires of whoever wields it. But who would be capable of such a feat? I can't say with any certainty, but together with the Crystal Foci, it is reminiscent of an ancient Alagan technology. Yes, the Alag is back. The Alagans have caused all this. How it's found its way into the hands of Bosians is anyone's guess. Now hold on a bleeding minute. Let me see if I'm understanding this right. You're saying that that thing you saw in the castrum weren't no primal. 
but a mere sliver of the Queen's ether. What was left over in the blade. A queefer, if you could call it that. Right, it seems like it. But on the other hand, Messiah can keep conjuring it up as many times as she wants. What? Queen and Ether? Queether? What are you... <laughs> you guys are just making it weird. Considering what it was designed for, that shade of the Queen is the least of our worries. Indeed. Messiah's ultimate goal is likely to become a vessel for the Blade's power. Looks like the Queen did to avert the Fourth Amber Calamity. With that preparation, Floor could likely vanquish the Shade of the Queen. But if Messiah should succeed in bringing the full power of the Blade to bear... It's not Queef. Queef. <laughs> right? Alright. Are you suggesting there's a chance she could lose? <laughs> Impossible, right? Well, I can't even count the number of stories I've heard of Floor's God-slaying adventures. Which one's more notch on her belt? I'd rather it not come to that, thankfully. Messiah has yet to find a store of crystals suitable for her plans. I doubt she will. For the time being, at least. If the blade was designed like Lykemire to crystal foci, was that now, while there's still time? It's Aerithis. We've decided it's Aerithis. Ooh, cool. More notes. Nice. <laughs> you don't eat us, no. A soak! Thank you for the sub, buddy. Thank you, man. Thank you very much for being here. It's a war. Fit for a queen. Ooh, we got a present. We're going with Aerithis. Messiah yet lacks what is required to fulfill her plans. Then we must either wrest the blade from her grasp or destroy it. Should the situation call for it, we may need to cut her down in the process. What if it were possible to take both Messiah and the Blade into our custody without conflict? As I understand it, there have been markedly fewer sightings of the Queen's apparition, correct? Yes, and with good reason. With no means of combating such a foe, our troops have barely set foot outside of our encampments. I believe that Messiah has her own reasons for making only sporadic appearances. She must use the crystal focus to conjure Queen Gr Gunhilda, and therein lies the rub, for its reserves of ether are not without limitation. Though perhaps she fears the crystal focus near exhaustion, but what prevents her from simply restoring its ether and resuming her assault? Well, it just so happens the crystal focus requires ether of a very specific sort, does not it? We are only able to find one source, and that's still depleted from when we used it. Before we returned, Flora and I chanced to spy Messiah commanding Queen Gunhilda to enslave a group of soldiers. But the apparition vanished after turning only one of them. I suspect the crystal lacked the energies necessary to complete the task. We got raid copy pastas ready. That's all well and good, lass, but Messiah ain't no fool. Until she figures out how to get the crystal focus working again, she won't be showing her face around here. She will. At least I think she will. Flora and I shared another vision of the future. Uh huh. That's not Kratos. How dare you, boy? I think it's the ruins in the midst of a storm. But for what? Oh. Do the towers interact with Bosio? That would be sick if the stories really run concurrently. La, 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 la. Go on, go on, Squeenix, tickle my nuts. Well, looks like that part of the vision is already coming true, innit? Thunderclouds are gathering above the southern front, and a nasty downpour won't be far, far behind. Then we must make ready before the rains come in earnest. Marsak, ready the men. I shall groom my mustache in readiness for the battle. May God have mercy on our souls, Marsak. I understand your trepidation, Makoto. But you must have faith in your gift. We will stop Messiah, I promise you that. For queen and for country. It was not by Flaw's hand alone that we survived our ordeal in Rabanastra. Lest you forget, we each have our part to play, and yours is no less important than any other. 
Speaking of which, you best join the others and set out before the rains come. Yes, of course. Have you not seen his moustache? How in the fuck? No, shut the fuck up a minute, right? How in the fuck are you going to sit there and call Gabu adorable when this moustache exists and you don't give it the credit it deserves? Where's the scales of justice on this decision? Where do they exist? Where is your balance of the force, my friends? It's a ball of that moustache. It's a twiddler. Everything appears to be in order. Are you ready, Flo? Upon speaking with Makoto, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Strap in, lads! Go! You must be a disciple of war or magic of level 80 or above to proceed. Uh, I'm good. I'll make you seven. Go! Alright, my heart can take it. Strong like bull. I'm having a great day, Couch Mafia. We just finished the 5.4 patch. I'm ready. I'm ready. I think Shadowbringers will be up there with one of the expansions I'm sad to see the most next to Heaven's Ward. See the off the back of, you know. I'll decide what we're doing in Endwalker. I don't make plans that far ahead. I'm really taking FF14 as it comes. Might go and do the Dark Knight story. Might do the Scholar. Might just play through it on Black Mage. Do how I feel at the time. I'm not trying to min-max anything. I'm just enjoying it. Not another step. We have you surrounded. Night, did you? It's over, Messiah. We know full well that the crystal's power is spent, you rotten Jerry. Koto, I know you're here. Oh, so she just comes out? 
Who thought your visions of the future would offer an advantage? But you're not the only one possessed of such gifts. Not any longer. Oh, they did. They put her in the cryo box. Yoinked. A scholar you may be, but you were a fool to come here. Your precious knowledge will avail you not against the kiss of cold steel. Not be unnerved. Without the Queen's aid, the victory may yet be ours! It's arms! <laughs> Let's Koopo! Ooh! Many friends! Such aggro. How do you like that AoE though, Daddy? You like it, don't you? Yes. Oh, you like that. I'll take one bold stack. Totally worth. Totally worth. Bold's just a warning to not take damage. That's all it is. Just a heads up. When I do the duel, it takes zero damage. Then you'll do it. An admirable effort. Admirable, but futile nonetheless. Ready the Delta Arm. New Magitek armor. Bloody bastards. I can't hit that one. They should put damage down with bold stacks. Kind of rude. Kind of rude. You're going to ruin 90% of Black Mage gameplay. I'm fine. This thing's got a lot of health, actually. Nah, I'm not gonna die. I am fine. I'm totally fine. It's, it's more than manageable. Uh, well, that kind of sucks. Tully ho! That's bollocks! That's not fair! 
That's not fair. I want a judge's decision on that. I want a judge's decision. Judge's decision. Bullshit. Fuck off. Fuck off, select difficulty. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Get out of here. That's it. I'm eating my fucking puddings, whatever they are. I've got to do this bit again? Oh, you son of a bitch. No, very easy in my future. Alright, that's it. I'm unleashing fucking all hell on this thing. Come on top of her, so I can AOE off the boss. Don't move me. Two stand next to each other. That'd be really nice. That's what we wanted to see. She's almost dead. Booyah. Yeah, do you think? Do you think? Delta armor. Come on. Come on. Right, watch this for blast. Absolute cake fire damage. Half its HP gone. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I need to get ready to move to the middle. We drop these around the edge. We're totally golden. See? That's all it would take. Just that. So free. Normal mode complete. <clears throat> Nailed it.
Well, have you broken the lock yet? Yes, mom. Opening it now. Is it the two? Mr. Mustache. I hope you don't mind me butting in. Rostick, you rat bastard! What are you doing here? I couldn't let you guys have. All the fun. Another one come crawling out of the woodwork. Don't hit those blades to me. You have to protect this blade with your lives. In the name of the queen! Where are they going? God, this guy's so cool. We need to get him and Astinian together. Go ahead, guys. Leave their toys to us. We'll be right behind you. Now go. Makoto needs you. Delabrum Reginar. You can now participate in the 24 player duty. Oh. This duty can be joined solo as a party or as an alliance by speaking with Makoto in the underground rooms. So it's not 48, man. Ooh. Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Right then. Uh. <laughs> really? That's the password? You guys need to make less obvious passwords, right? <laughs> it's, you're gonna get old you doing that. Oh, we got a full squadron? Like, even random bashing of the keyboard, right? <laughs> it's got me that way. Atlas, thank you for the two months, man. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Glad you're all enjoying uh, this FF journey, man. It's so fun. It'll be so sad when I reach the end of the MSQ. Not really, because I've still got a shitload to find out about. Ooh. Isn't this where the aliens fought the Predators? Log check. Inappropriate. Appropriate. Officer. I can't wait till our next FF14 party. I actually can't wait. Oh, I can get buffs and stuff. Uh, where's that? Oh, shit. Have I run out? Butter my ass. Yeah, I have. I haven't got any of the veteran ones. What's this one? Poison resistance. You know what? I'll go potion less. Potions are kind of pussies. Okay, this is pretty grand. What the fuck? 
the Trinity Seeker. Yo, that is badass, by the way. This thing is so cool. Oh, as he's still figuring out his buffs, is he? Shaking my damn knees. Two deaths? Bullshit. They don't call me Jimmy Hotfingers for nothing. Verdant Tempest. I'm gonna stay re damaged, that's fine. First Mercy. I'm facing a certain way, perhaps. Third Mercy. Tank shit. Okay, this looks like a stacking tank thing. Fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. I'm not even looking at you. I'm not even looking at you, chat. I'm not looking at you. You knew what was coming. Alright, so when he does the one, two, three, four, he's he's telling us the positions he's going. I think that's what the mechanic is. Oh, we have to hide! Ugh, I can make it! Made it! I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Are we sure for this? Checking. Nope. Right, this is the AOE damage. And then he's going to do the 1, 2, 3, 4, I think. I think. Mayhaps. This I can help with. The iron Splitter. It's always safe on the path of the ring he doesn't land on. Yes? Yes? My uh, rune is back. He's going to do that stupid fucking area denial. Fuck it. Going for it. Going for it. YOLO swag. This guy has a lot of health. Rude. The fuck is that? Get away from me! I got that now. Okay. I got that now. Okay. Should have got that the first time, but got completely lucky. I get it now. I get it now. It's fine.
Just making sure I keep good up time on my don't do any damage debuff. What is this? Dead iron. Okay, those two have to separate away from the group. Okay. Why are you pointing it towards me? What the fuck? I assume I can just stand on here. I have coolies, which means I'm about to die. New stuff, Act of Mercy. Fist of Mercy. Frontal? Third Mercy. Oh, this is the thing. Okay. Maybe I just need to stay closer to this. I'm getting hit. Why? I greeted. I didn't need to. I greeted. I knew it. I dropped the rune. I dropped the rune. It was all greed. This is a good fight, though. I greeted. I dropped the ley lines, man. I thought I'd be all right. <laughs> it was not to be. It was not to be. Ley lines is a suicide pact with the. Like, I'm actually making deals with the devil. Okay, let's do this right this time, eh? I died though. I sacrificed myself for you guys. I did that for all of you. You can thank me later. Yes, get your Bosnian coins. It's important. Gab already done. That's the fight. I don't think I'd die to that fight ever again, to be fair. I don't, I don't think I would ever die to that fight again, but it's uh, it was a good good experience. It's all pretty explanatory once you see it. Oh, hello. Lizard Man. So Jantis versus Lizard Man. Dahu. Okay. 4.7 million points. Gamba for 10 plus? <sighs> I'm not dying to listen. Can we not pull? Yeah, I'll give you a count now. Hold on. What? The value is in... Hold on, hold on. No one else start a count now. There we go. Ninja pull. Someone ninja pulled. Fuck 
you, man. good okay this thing's melting this is not this boss does something else this thing is absolutely being crushed into the ground uh okay Is there something spinning around the boss there? Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, I saw it. I could see it spinning later on. I got it. Still pumping, still pumping. Okay. People are getting... Oh! Fuck! I'm fine. I got Doom. Is it not Vuln here, then? Okay. This is going to be awkward to drop ley lines, but I believe... No, ley lines after this mechanic, yeah? Think about it, mate. Just wait. Just wait. It's not like you won't get another one. That's unfair. Oh, what? Yes, man. Was, was that even a boss? I died at 5%? Fucking bollocks. Give me my Bosian coins. Trash? Alright, then it doesn't count. What are you gambling? What are you gambling for? What are you gambling for? That does not count! It wasn't even a boss! Oh, fuck. A council fight? Fuck me. Easy points here! Fuck off! <laughs> Hold on, I'll do a pull timer. Hold on. Uh... There you go. That's an actual believer. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, brother. Alright, I'm just gonna wait we the fuck out of this place. This is too many splashing flashing lights, man. I don't know what the fuck's going on.
Bone Slinger. Oh shit, Bone Slinger. Am I fine? No. No, I am not fine. Should we have killed the bombs? Should we have targeted the bombs? He's doing it again. I don't know why we're here. But I'm trusting you guys. Okay. Reading's hard, but being smug is very simple. play. I didn't teach this guy. Sh I guess saying shield means close, sword means far away. I think it's nice and simple. Oh, sounds like a tank mechanic. Pete. Double Gambit. Okay, okay, okay. We have friends. What do friends do? We're hiding behind friends? Why did we do that? I don't know why we did that. <laughs> Alright, these friends appear. They're looking in different directions. And now they're jumping around. I think we just hide behind any of them. I'm seeing people hiding behind other ones. It's not a problem. I think as long as you hide behind them, that's fine. Stand mid like a badass. <laughs> what are you, pussy? Drop ley lines, I'm dead, aren't I? Oh shit. Right, he's powering that turret up. Okay, you gotta look in which direction they're going. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, 
Oh my god, that was healing. Good here, I think. No death. Not today. One heal. Oh shit. Good, 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 good. Splitting deeps, splitting deeps. Not sure if we should do that. We are doing that. Okay, we're good. Did we win? Bosian coins. Believe us for the win. <laughs> I believe. Good. So lucky. No way, man. I don't know the ro I didn't get the robot one. What the bombs do? No fucking idea. No idea. I didn't get the bomb. The bombs are the robot mechanic. Is what I missed the talon. Bosian phantom. But like your glam. <laughs> I guess you look like a you look like you work on trains. What a good way you got me working. Weave my ass. Oh shit! Okay, okay. Oh wait, we got circles. We got squares. Please, no triangles. I can't do triangles. I don't know what's happening. I'm dead. I don't know what the fuck was going on there. Did you run the circle to a side? Doing it again. Okay, okay. What is this? Circle, square, square. Am I picking to stay? Oh, I'm just staying the shape. Okay. That's been pretty fast. This is Black Mage uh, unfriendly. Oh. Fine, we're Gucci. I wonder if square is better for me than circle. Maybe. Oh, everyone's going circle. The circle team. Oh, 
fuck's sake. Alright, pump, pump for the kill, bring it home. One sec, dude, I'm pumping, I'm pumping, I'm pumping. There's points on the line. I'm blasting right now. I'm blasting. I'm gonna do this last 3% on my, on my lonesome. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, you, you know what that's for. Yeah. Wait, there's more bosses? No, man! That is pickles. Don't pretend like you don't know how to put a, on a gimp mask, Chris. <laughs> don't even. How many deaths have I got left? I've got four left. Easy. Easy. <clears throat> Easy. Oh no, this floor. Okay, we've got patterns. And arrows. Alright. Come on, Mike. Don't give them the satisfaction, Mike. They want you to fail. Beautiful. Right where he needs to be. Glory of Bosnia. No death, no death. A legion arsenal. That sounds like something outside the rim. This thing has a lot of health. Alright, hot and cold, hot and cold. Is this a floor thing? What? The body temperature? Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Easily affected by changing body temperature. When the effect expires, running hot or cold will result in a knockout. Uh, so I do, do I want to get cooler? Could this be less in my way? You're already cool enough? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I think there's a very high chance I could die very quickly on this fight. Spell effects.
Alright, hot and cold, hot and cold. One heal, thank you. Alright, I'm double cold. I'm double hot. I need to get extra, extra cool. Okay, I'm fine now. I see, I see, I see. The unseen eye. What's the unseen eye? Something around the edge? Yep. Okay. Are they sticking around? I'm not looking out. I'm I'm seeing the mechanics. Four steps ahead. I've got Makoto powers. Fucking easy. You gotta remember, guys. I've played World of Warcraft. I'm used to much harder content. Always got a bad eye in mind. I'm going for the blast. I'm going for it. All right, double hop. Be cold. All right, that's a tour. That's a tour. I want to be here. People didn't get that with sarcasm. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man. You gotta be better than that. You got, you're not gonna survive if you're not better than that. You've gotta be better than that. You gotta be on top of your game. This is a long fight though, which I think is benefiting me from getting to see things. It's not all just a blunderbuss of abilities. Right, this, with what made us cold last time, I don't know how it happened. What is it? The fuck is that? Is that a fire alarm? Oh, oh, it's there! Oh, they changed directions! Oh, I'm dead. Is that a fire alarm? That doesn't count! There's a fire alarm. Should I run away? I don't know if I should evacuate the building. Chris is doing some signs. Yeah, but I've never heard that sound before. What the fuck is that sound? Should I be concerned? Well, it sounded like a fire alarm. We're not on fire, no? There you go, bud. Jesus! The 
I gotta do that every week? Oh my god. But we've been here for more than a week! Wait a minute. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting scammed here. Are you trying to kill me, Kieran? I see it. Don't think a fire alarm's gonna stop me, pal. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, it doesn't count. No, oh, I killed the boss! <laughs> I killed the boss! <laughs> it was victory! It was all victory! What luck? What are you talking about? The amount of luck was unfair! That was all played for, and I survived a fire alarm test in the middle of the fight. Fucking luck! My ass! Big battery. At last, the power to reclaim what is mine. What is ours? Queenie? Queen Gunhilda shall not be denied. All who oppose Bosia will die. Oh, she's got a little throne chair. That's dope. Can you get this as a mount? By the gods, she has become a vessel for the blade's power. You can't get it as a mount? What a problem. Kind of a jam. Okay. Bring it on. Queenie. The Imperian Iniquity. Everyone seems very gathered for healing, it looks like. I've already had a death. Lady of Blades and both my betrayers purify their hearts. Okay, they're charging. Are they just charging these? Ah, okay. Do we know how many squares they're gonna move though to line that up? Do they have a set number? Mayhaps.
gonna draw the Whoa! Okay, that's a knockback. Okay, okay. So here, I think. And then move into this one. Nope. <laughs> okay, they moved two. All right, they moved two. Okay, I get it. I get it. I, I didn't even know how many squares they moved. Oh no! I didn't see that coming though. That's not fair. Oh, fucker. Fucker. Jesus Christ. I almost that would not have counted, by the way. Oh, you can't count the fire alarm death. Come on, man. You can't count a fire alarm death. That's bullshit. That's not fair. Uh, okay, the whole floor just flashed. What the fuck is this? Temporarily insert the queen. Move forward three squares. Why are we doing Queen of Shara suddenly? I didn't die, so... I'll take it. Oh shit, uh, this is different. It's fine. Oh, the bomb thing! I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, everybody else is dying to it. I'm supposed to do it first time. Fuck off. There's a full wipe. Can it be rescued? Jeez, no. Sensible play. Sensible play. Can I get a heal? Sensible play, not cheese.
Not dead. Not dead. Not dead. Away from the tank. Not dead. Draw your little lines. I was moving. I was moving. I was already moving. I was good. I was good. I can count to two. I swear to you. I promise. We'll get away from the tank, though. I was already moving. I saw the issue. Box coming, isn't it? this wrong? It is! What? I thought they had to move two! Fuck me! Does it have a number above their heads and I haven't seen it because I'm a fucking blind ass bastard? Probably. I had the right idea. I'll take that. Don't get hit again. That's so all I have to do is don't get hit again. Don't get hit again. Three percent at three percent, you win. You won. You got your victory. Fine. 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 Three percent. No, it was my fault. I forgot it did the charge across after that one. It caught me earlier on. I forget it. I forgot it went the explosion, then a charge across, and that's why you get back to the shield. That was almost a very close wipe there. That was a great fight. That was really cool. There was a lot of patterns going on there.
You know as much as I did. Yeah, for a first time through, I think that was fine. That was totally fine. Is this was the easy mode? Is this the smug comments? Stop it! Did you get that? So? What if I told you it was a harder version? I'm going for a fucking kiss. Give me two minutes. your coins are the Queen's night piece. Queen awakens orchestral scroll. Music! Dope. Give me. Yeah, 11 deaths. Unlock. Unlock. I'll take it. I'll take it for a first blind run. I'll take so I'll take 11 deaths. Oh, it's for your tabletop. Oh, nice. Come. Why? What's oh you can go up to it. Ooh. What? What are we doing? You got a screenshot? <laughs> Why? We haven't screenshot any of the extremes or anything.
There you go. I don't think I'm blocking anyone. The team. I don't get it. Is this raid a really big deal or something? Help! Help! Explain to me. Not really. I'm very confused. It's just cool. It is a very cool raid. I wouldn't say it's, that, it's as cool as, like, it's any more cool than some of the others we've done, though. I mean, it's not Kate Westwood. That's a fact. That's a fact. Just having fun. Oh, that's nerd shit. As he cares. Okay, as he cares. That's fine. Did I learn the sweeping up emote? I think I did, right? What's it called? Any knowers? Slash broom. I think I've got it somewhere. I have got it. I didn't put it in favors. Is that expressions? Slash sweep. No, I'm doing it. It's slash brew. Or is it, is it called slash sweep in here? Or am I just being blind? So it can be slash, slash broom or sweep up. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> nice and clean. Nice and clean. Beautiful. Still here after we clean the floor as well. Blade Inspector Mikoto, are you all right? Uh huh. Only died 11 times. Is she? Dude, fire alarm does not count. The building could have been on fire. No. Merely unconscious. But let's take us back with her to what she has ages without delay. I fear Imperial fear reinforcements might be upon us ere long. And who down the damn Jerry's coming out of the skies? Broke the magic crystal. Far from easy, but thanks to the two of you, we've succeeded in reclaiming Save the Queen. Well, there's a victory bought with a great sacrifice. Under the blade's influence, many of Gunhilda's blades were transformed beyond recognition. At least now their suffering is at an end. A heavy loss for the Resistance, this is true. But having wrested Save the Queen from the hands of the Fourth Legion, we may resume our offensive unimpeded. But we must do so quickly, while they remain few in number. What will become of Messiah? she will remain in solitary confinement in Kangos. First and foremost, we must deal with the threat of the 4th Imperial Legion. Once they have been routed, she will be made to stand trial for her crimes. 
Espionage, primal summoning, the tempering of Gunhilda's blades. She has much to atone for. As do many of our people, I would say. For it was for the callousness and cruelty of those seeking the glory of our forebears that drove her to side with the Empire, the bloody rascals. Nevertheless, no excuse for her transgressions for the Queen. As for save the Queen, it should go without saying we mustn't allow it to fall into the wrong hands again. Well, perhaps it could be destroyed. Oh, I thought perhaps it could be destroyed. But I've yet to leave as much as a scratch on the accursed thing. I think best if you were to take it, Makoto. A dad study would prove a most illuminating experience for you. Unless, of course, you'd rather it be locked away. I shall defer to your judgment. Go see us all at a bar having dinner, drinks. Makoto, no! Oh shit. Huh. Hmm. Something wrong. No, no, I'm fine. Merely tired as hell. Then I bid you return to Gengar some rest. You have more than earned it. <sighs> What's in the world? Oh god, what a tower? Reinforcements have arrived. About damn time. Now that we command the skies, they're done for. Blast. We must withdraw to Gangos. I cannot believe the story is still continuing on for a, <laughs> for a farm area. At last, victory is within our grasp. I'm actually mind blown of how much effort they put into a farming zone. I'm mind blown. Not only that though, like, not only that, it has better systems. <laughs> it's just a piss take. Not only has it got a really expansive story with three extra raids, it has better systems than a WoW zone. <laughs> it's such a fucking piss take. Jesus Christ. It has more fun and interesting stuff. Gods preserve us. I did not think they would go as far as to deploy a warship. Though the odds are stacked against us, we have come too far to abandon our home. I will send word to Lord Hien that we may begin preparations to make a final stand. If we fail, it will be the end for Bosnia. When the final battle is upon us, I pray we can count on your aid one last time. For sure.
You can now exchange Bosnian coins for gear by speaking with a resistance supplier. Nice. The subsequent ventures into DR speak with Cedros and Gangos. Cool. And it goes on and on. A new playing field. Lead, Inspector. We have at last determined the whereabouts of the 4th Legion's remaining installation here in Bosnia. Our scouts report sightings of their forces rallying at Zadnor to the north, which seems to indicate that Castor and Lacus Latour has been abandoned. We deployed our vanguard in advance to the enemy stronghold, but the way is barred by a fleet of warships. Now that Queen Gunhilda no longer poses a threat, Balsack intends to deploy the troops previously held in reserve. We will be joining them in Zadnor shortly. Our first port of call is Camp Breathless. When you're ready, Jaros will escort you there. Oh. What? Why are y'all judging me? What did I do? Good job. Good job. Report to Zadnor, sir. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I've been expecting you, Blade Inspector. If your preparations are complete, let us depart for Camp Relvis. Oh, I see, I see. Got you. Uh, that guy just told me something that was probably important and I didn't read it at all. <laughs> I didn't read it at all. You probably told me something really important, but I didn't read it. <laughs> so have we, have we moved on from the main uh, front zone, have we? Have these got gates and critical engagements as well? Do I have to go through the whole gamble process again? I don't think I can afford Bosnia. It's too expensive. <laughs> Bosnia's costing me a fortune. Has he got a group up? We tag the Etherag. Tagging. This is another big zone. Okay. Cool. Alright. Okay. Okay. I say, thank you for coming. I understand this is your first time in Zadmo, yes? Even before the 4th Legion relocated here from Castrum. There's hardly the most hospitable of places. See it now, one could scarcely believe it was once rich and fertile land. Sadly, it was not spared the ravages of the fourth umbral calamity. No, this place has floating rocks, which is crazy alien, if you ask me. In the wake of the disaster, this plateau became rich in earth aspect crystals. Miners were keen to seize the opportunity, and they quickly exhausted the supply of valuable resource. As the settlers had no other reason to continue living in such harsh environs, the region eventually became uninhabited. The Imperials decided to establish an outpost here, that is. Just when we thought ourselves prepared for the next assault, they usher in a fleet of ships from Dalmasca, led by Dalriada. There's yet some moves since dropping anchor. There's no denying the strategical advantage of the present location. We're not yet convinced this fits to serve as a new base of operations. Regardless, rather than speculate over the Imperial schemes, we must take decisive action. Now is the time to deliver the final blow to the 4th Legion. If we are to succeed, we'll first need to deal with the warships stymieing our attempts to advance. Good morning, Chiselaine. Thank you. Well, it's a good thing you have us to help with that. I'm not changing Sid's voice to this new accent he's got. Fuck that. See those floating rock formations? One might think them a result of the fourth umbral calamity, but they were actually caused by the Bosnia incident. When 
Darlington struck the citadel, vast quantities of energy permeated the site, likely carried to every corner of Bosia via ether currents. Certain regions were affected more severely than others, and well, the results of self-explanatory. Oh! Pause! Pause, chat! Looks fine now. Looks like a just, uh, looks like a burp. Thankfully, we've managed to tap into the energy to erect a barrier to protect from aerial strikes. What like say use wall? Yeah, just the thing. Oh, rude. Very rude. As you can see, the barrier only extends to the boundaries of this encampment. I should keep us safe for the time being. Words can ill express my gratitude to Sid for all he's done for us. Can't take all the credit. This wouldn't have been possible without the equipment supplied to us by the Dalmascan Resistance. What's more, the idea to use the land's residual energy came up from Lilia, one of my newest engineers. So you see, it was a collaborative effort. As you said, the barrier can only cover so much ground. If the Dalridia decides to do more than loom ominously in the distance, our troops on the front line won't stand a chance. If only it were a matter of combating their fleet on their own. As things stand, the Eastern Alliance is in no position to lend us any of their ships, and the Bosians have yet to not next to not in its first place. Right, we may not have a fleet, but we do have an abundance of residual ether, don't we? At our disposal, you know. If only there was some way you could help us. Perhaps a world-class engineer, master of innovation or some such. <laughs> Pray tell. Where might we find one of those? Hello. That's, what are you doing? Shaking your nits all over me. We're coming here flecking. Go down. Go on to the side. Oh, he's happy. Oh, good. Why are you, you coming here flecking, squidging your face and all sorts? What's going on? <laughs> Don't like it. Yes, yes, point taken. After all, I can't have newcomers like you stealing my thunder. I'll see if I can turn the idea of yours into a workable solution. Can you do an Essex accent? Yeah. That's this lady, if she talks. Easy. I need, I need full Taui power. Okay. Looks like you're out. We would be lost without the aid of the Garland Ironworks and Eastern Alliance. Their good will must be repaid with not less than victory. I think you've been fired again. Never noticed ever had that much hair. More than me. Yeah, you got cut. Sorry, you got benched. No oh no, speak to Luya. Oh, it's you. There you go. You ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> you can do both here. She's got a very soft spoken voice. She's a scholar. There Which you go. One am I now? Lilia's Essex. Hmm. Now that you're here, we've a favour to ask of you. I volunteered to do. It's more South London, that isn't it? <laughs> Will that do, South London? I volunteered to do it myself, but a certain someone insisted I stay put. Your enthusiasm is appreciated, but I'd rather go myself than put any of my workers in arms away. Besides, this is no job for an engineer. Long story short, the resistance means to advance in the enemy's position, and to do that, they'll need protection. We aim to erect additional barriers at each outpost they establish along the route to the Fourth Legion's base of operations. The trouble is, the residual ether alone may not be enough, so we plan to divert the current further afield. Although the theory is sound enough, we haven't had a chance to put it into practice. 
Oh, that wasn't Essex. There is a bit more Jonathan Watts. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little bit. London. This is where that. we're hoping you might be able to help. We need you to set this prototype device and activate it at a specific location. I'm not going to be rude to Sid. No rudeness. Why, however did you guess? As before, you'll need to set the device in place and we can handle the rest. You know, softly spoken. While the technology differs in somewhat, in terms of what you actually have to do, it is more or less the same as the task you performed on the Southern Front. Alright, Hermione. Fucking hell. What? Huh. Think of it as redir uh, redirecting the streams of Aiva with a dam. Ether. Yeah, watch how it's done. No. <laughs> Alright. And... And to, me, uh, and to that purpose, allow me to introduce our newly patented defluxion, Ether Manipulator, or de a m or de d I like that you spelled out the abbreviation. Or <laughs> D-A-M. D-A-M. For sure. Damn! For sure. Yes, well, questionable naming aside, I can vouch for its workmanship. All that remains is to put it through its paces. Although, I am loath to ask you to bear this burden. Our greatest chance of success lies with you. While you make your preparations, we shall attempt to locate a suitable current. As for me, I'd best get back to the workshop. I'll see if there's aught that can be done about the Dalradia. Dalriada. I think that's a proper name. She loves him. She's trying! She's making a play for it! She's making a move! It better be about engineering, because he doesn't give a fuck about anything else. She could run up covered in jelly, naked, and he still wouldn't notice. If you have finished your discussion, might I suggest also speaking with our secretariat? He has a wealth of information concerning Zadno, which I'm sure will serve you well. So he's off. Fucking pieces. She pissed off. <laughs> oh, we don't get a follow up. She made a play. Oh, it's her again. Once you step foot beyond the ironworks barrier, you will face not only Imperial troops, but aerial assaults. Until we find a way to contend with their warships, I beg of you, be careful. Emoting? I think you're good when you're emoting. Sweet! Oh, now we're locked. Any rankers? Oh, I can rank up! Dope! Where's my rank man? I need my commander. Woohoo! Man. Nice. I wonder if I got two ranks. Uh, research the forgotten fragments. Good. Yeah, another rank up. Sweet. Crit engagement. Are you cued us? Or... Wait, I'm the leader? No, 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 you be the leader. No, 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 no. How do I promote? Any promoters? All right. Okay, I haven't done this one. No gamba, no man. Fine, fine, 20 subs, fine, 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 fine. Fucking doubters. You, you watch. You watch, you fucking watch. You fucking watch. This 
spreading his arms wide. Oh shit. What is this? Oh, his slice is right! Oh, so free for me, honestly. I can't die here. You guys better pay up. Oh, no. Three of them. down indeed. Loads of people died to that. Was it circling round? It looked like it was going across the middle. I wonder if there's another one set up here. Probably depends on the creature on the outside. Fucking 4% as well. Yeah, 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 I got rank up. Who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? Fucking... Is there a jewel up? Oh, there is a jewel! Oh, 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 there's a jewel. There's a jewel. Oh, I need a map! I'm slow! Azzy! I'm slow, dude! If you're a dodger in this chat after, like, the last month or so, you are actually insane. You should be the ones doing the fucking gambles at this point. If you're a dodger here, you are actually nuts. I don't know how it's even fucking possible. Oh, we've got someone in. Oh, I... Mm. Oh, it's a failure. It's a failure. I'm not going to gamble on it. I'm not going to gamble on it, but it's definitely a wipe. Too good? Oh, my God. The amount of dodges. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Check their buffs. Let's have a look. I can't click them. This is definitely a wipe, though. Definitely. I don't. I haven't tried one of these yet, and I can't wait to. But I mean, they seem really fucking hard. Oh, they're buffing now. I think their HP just changed. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, there's buffs going on now. Lost bravery's up. We have seen someone win, but they had to use an auto res. They they still died and then they came back. 
And they have re-raise. They have re-raise as well. They don't seem to be doing big damn though. So kitsch, so kitsch. Ooh, what's the blue? Okay, so it hits out and then it fills the gaps that it just hit. I see. It all seems to be taking any damage. There's so many hours here, you have no idea what to have all those buffs. Are the circles of your bait? Do they take longer? They do. Okay, there's some there's somebody who's done their research. <laughs> there's some big homework going on. Good knowledge to pick up though, that it works that way. Is the fight going to repeat now? Whoa! That's cool. Is a dancer a healer at all? Or does this thing just have giga amounts of HP? Oh! more. Oh, they dive bomb. Ooh, that felt close. That felt close. The left arm wave. I'm not sure I'd be able to do that movement on my character. My blink relies on another person. Prime, right arm is enhanced. Oh, no more mechanics! Jesus Christ! I've never seen this fight go this far. Yeah, it's pretty huge. God, I hope they don't fail. After doing all this, I'd be so pissed off. Oh, 
Ooh, dive bomb there. There's no way they haven't done this before. A lot of times. Eleven percent. Hold. Hold. fantastic that was so good to watch i have no idea if my job can do the meteor move out of the way immediately maneuver i don't know about that <laughs> i'm not sure how i would get out of that unless there's an item that gives you some sort of uh, teleport to wherever you want ability i think there is yeah i think there's an item that gives you some sort of movement right the dash is a lost action yeah i remember reading something like that Uh, I'm alright to ride over here. Thank you. <laughs> the meteor knocks you away? Oh, that makes way more sense then. That's cool. Uh, not for the last couple of days, Cal. No. Check your new buff. Uh, this one. Reminiscence. Uh, raid to use lost actions. Banner of Noble Ends. Lost bravery. Yeah, that's these two, right? We got another buff. High morale. Metal ends increased. Anything else? I've had this before, though. Is it just, like, the highest version of it? Or one of the higher versions? Let's get my other upgrade. Rank 15. Wonderbar! Ah, break 16 for Boris, you show off. Alright, what can I do with my, uh, request party? No, no, no. I don't... Oh, I have got something. Yeah, I think I need... Do I need 25 again to get the mount speed? Uh, they don't realize you had someone finish a duel with you there before, so they think it's the first time you've seen the buff. Oh, right, okay. I got it. Why is it we're going to get a shot? Uh, Chris is editing it right now. We had to reshoot some things this morning. It turns out our lights work at a really weird... Um, uh, yeah, one sec, I'm just turning this shit in. Right, I think I'm empty. I think I'm empty. I'm ready to go. Where's the car gone? Hey, you have a funny name. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. 50 hertz lights. Yeah, so what happens is with our proper cameras, with our proper cameras, is uh, when we film with them, the footage flickers constantly. It's super annoying. But we've had to replace, we had to spend 800, 800 quid on lights. <laughs> 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 Fucking grim. 
Fucking grim. Oof. <sighs> Oof. Oofus. Oofus indeed. That is what it is. We can't run away that far. Oh, interrupted! Nice. I'll start winning these gambers. Yeah, I would like that. I would like that. <laughs> I would like that very much. I'm just going to bask in how many lights I've got. I'm going to tell people in Mexico all about it. I was like, well, back home. You might want to know that I'm something of a light specialist myself. You may find it hard to believe, but... I own many lights. From school... New computer game out, okay. Oh, can we guess? Is it a video game? No, no. I don't need to read the email, just explain to me. Is it a video game? That's all we want now. Okay, so, and it's a new video game. Wait, 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 you're spoiling it. We're trying to guess. Is it a new, is it a new video game? Okay, let's think about this. There's a new video. Oh, Lost Ark? No way. No way. Not Lost Ark. Um, a new video game containing a monster that's scaring all the children that children would have had access to. Oh, is it Dying Light 2? Mmm. I can't be Slender Man. Sounds sweet and innocent. Five Nights at Freddy's, that's big, right? Five Nights at Freddy's. A new video game that sounds Kirby? Kirby? Is there a new Kirby out? Why would Kirby scare anyone? Sorry, so Five Nights at Freddy's is blowing me? Poppy's what? Poppy's Playtime Huggy Wuggy. Explain to me, team. What is it? Is it a, is it a Five Nights clone? Oh, is it no, it's called Poppy. Yeah, it's called Poppy's Playtime. Whatever it is. I haven't even heard of that. No one's, no one's heard of it, or like played it, and has any idea what the gameplay is. It's a horror game. Why are the kids getting old? I don't know, I once played a horror game that was based entirely on Furbies, so... Just understand who you do. Where we summoned the evil Furbies. <laughs> of course you can. Those are usually made to sell toys. Is it old? It's very obviously marketed. Hard. Yeah, apparently there's TikTok videos. How are the six-year-olds seeing TikTok videos? These kids don't have phones, do they? Yeah, how are they watching TikToks? Fucking TikTok and lick my balls. No, my kids do not have phones. Guy, yeah, because he's jamming. He's jamming to the beats. Oh, he's going to have his imagination educate him on it. It's going to be way worse. <laughs> hey, rank up! Sweet! 
He has rankings. Does this prey return me? Yes. And I have got 26 Bosian clusters. Hopefully we can get the map. I, don't, I did not get a phone till I was already a man. And by then it was not, but snake. You know how James got so much up Yep. Riding map, yes. Boosh. Boosh. All right, we got hyperspeed team. We're good. I have the Matrix phone, so yeah. Sweet. All right, story game. Oh, critical. Wait, 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 wait. Critical engagement first, or? Let's do this before the story. I must prove myself worthy once more. Where's that, um, memoirs guy? Actually, uh, the audience voted for Floor Inspector. It's actually a kinder name than I thought they would. Give me. For being honest. I did expect to have a considerably worse name. Can I have saved these field maps here? Come on. Floor Inspector worked out perfectly. There we go! Alright. From beyond the grave. Okay. <laughs> what even is that? Is that a lion with dangly legs? Or is it a lion backpack? Alright, I need food. What? I've had my sandwich. I'm starving. I'm so hungry. Right, maybe this is weird. I bring a sandwich. Oh, good. All right, last gamba, last gamba, last gamba. All right. Keep me alive. I haven't got any potions, man. I need potions. I need my buffs. I'm taking like twice as much damage as everybody else, man. BS! I've done the red chocobo. Passed it with flying colours, I'll have you know. I did! I only died once! I died once! For my first go at the red chocobo, that is more than fine. That is more than fine. I did do fine, sure. Right. I don't know what this thing could do. Come on. Blast it, team. Blast it. Blast it. Max power. Yeah? Max power! Uh, how do I get rid of this? Do I get this spelled? I got two stacks of Vuln? What for? What did I get them for? Oh shit, I don't even know. And everybody else died. Uh, okay. I stood in an orb. I didn't see myself in an orb. Uh. 
It's fine, it's fine. It's salvageable, salvageable, salvageable. Salvageable, salvageable. Uh, okay, what's this? What's this? Let's kill him. There's people coming at me with buffs and debuffs. Fucking move, man! All good, all good. We're back, we're back. Chain lightning, spread out, spread out. Soul purge and everyone afterwards. All. Coming corpse again. Along with the march. Why have I got three stacks of pool? What the fuck? Right, I'm gonna go backwards. So. Oh no. Fine, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Why did I die? Why did I die? Fuck! The Doom! Aren't I supposed to be dispelled from Doom, or is this something I was supposed to do? I need confirmation. I have to dispel myself. I'm not supposed to die. I thought it was a fucking spell that someone else did. I got Vaughn again. I don't even know why. This fight is confusing to shit out. What made me Vaughn there while I was just still? Didn't look away. Oh, okay. He had a look away thing as well. Fucker. The second Soul Purge is not telegraphed after the first time. I mean, I can't possibly know that. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, is that not true? Yeah, I'm talking, you're talking about a different mechanic. That is true. Looking away is false. There seems to be confusion in there. <laughs> Hold on. Let me rank up. Let me rank up. Let me rank up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, the ranks are flying up now. Okay. <sighs> this is a lot of... Uh... Okay, let's try this one. Let's see if this is obvious. I want to see the next raid. I'm not like overly asked to grinding out the zones. I want to see the next raid. No, Gamba, there's too many mechanics that I need to see at least once that can kill you. There's far too many of them, man. I'm just fucking getting poor.
I don't want clues. I want to go in blind first time, but there's, there's too many that can. Uh, I need to have seen once to know uh, how it's dealt with. Right, head attack. The crystal needle. What are you doing over there? Okay. Spreaders. Behind different colors. What do the colors mean? The yellows not protect you. Are they debates. Sun spear. My tail's giving me the old swagger jagger. There's no way there's a jewel off the back of this one, right? This one seems much easier. Does he have different casts where sometimes you have to hide behind the yellow? Yeah, okay, so he has two different casts, I see. Oh, the hailfire is targeted. I see that now. Why didn't I gamble on this? Why didn't I gamble on this one? What the fuck? Why didn't I gamble on this one? Fuck it every time. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. That's the gambler's problem. Gamba, gamba. Uh huh. I got another rank up. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yeah, there's no way you get a duel off that fight, right? Absolutely not. Tesoria, the Pale Carnage. Thank you both, man. Thank you very much. You're both very generous. Final Dan, thank you for the 21 months, brother. 21 months. Thank you. Spent a your look at that whole cold bus. I saw that mechanic. I didn't see the one where it was coming across down the lines. Where you had to track the pathway. I didn't see that one. The rest of them I saw, though. Uh, no, we haven't done any Savage yet. I don't know how much of... The, what rank do we need to get the final raid? 20, I'm guessing? Oh, we need 25. Okay. Oh, I've got a good opportunity to learn these bosses then. More. Up we go. What you doing? Well, I can't while I've got this buff.
Only 25, it's only seven. That's fine. Let's go out and get some points while we got this buff. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, story to get the next area. True, true, true. True, true, true. True. No effect the rewards received. Okay, I have some choices to make. Sweet. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Floor. We have finally found a suitable location for the Ironworks device. Alright. Well, you'll be pleased to hear the dam's ready to go. Some of our finest works yet, right? If I don't say so myself. I don't know, I'd prefer if I could only get one rank per week, despite how much I play it. Once in place, Balsack has asked me to redirect the ether currents to the newly secured outpost. I'll mark on your map the location where the device will be set. When you've finished, contact us. I shall pray for your safe return, Floor. Yay! Great success. All right, we're going all the way out. Uh, how long have we got left on this duty? Ages, actually, ages. Let's get a buff. Uh, ooh. This one. On serpent's wings. Perfect. Alright, I've got like double my HP now. We're golden. We're ready for action, team. We're ready. <laughs> this one is really hard. <laughs> I don't know if you're trolling me. I genuinely don't know if you're trolling me or not. I haven't done Eureka, no. I haven't. Let's see if I can get something out of this real quick. I've got time, right? Yeah, I've got two minutes. Mika's better. It seems to be a very subjective thing. I've heard, uh, I've heard both ends of the thing. Eureka's way worse. Don't go to Eureka. Bosia sucks. Don't go to Bosia. Here's what it is. So far, I'm having a blast here. Okay. Okay. No problem. Add fire. I don't know what they do. Frost, poison, fire is what I'm guessing. This is, this is my guess. I really want to do that one we just did again, but I kept getting the bone stacks and I wasn't sure where they were coming from. That's the one I want to do again. I felt like nothing was happening and I just got bone stacks. We fight them all at once. Yes. All 
dying rather quickly. again. No way! Bollocks! man. <laughs> I call shenanigans. Big time. I should just be constantly AoEing here. Okay. Oh. Hey! There we go. <laughs> there we go. Good shit. Alright, good shit, good shit, good shit. Okay, I got one Vuln. Was there a duel up? No duel. Did nobody not get a Vuln? Is that what that means? What exactly is a bollock and why they're multiple than bad? Bollocks are a set of balls. So, that's bollocks. It's an absolute set of nuts. But, uh, I mean, they can be good as well. So if something's great, it's the dog's bollocks. I don't know why. Dog's bollocks are considered, like, the holy grail. Also translated as the mutt's nuts. Yeah, get educated. Yeah, twat his vagina. But I've never heard anybody but like old people refer to a vagina as that. Damn, it's ready for. Ready transmission protocols now. Like, that seems to be like an old person thing. But when I grew up, twat just meant you were a dick. All systems appear to be normal. Can you confirm the dam is burrowed into the ground? And everything's as it should be. We're free to return to camp. Yeah, I've never heard of anybody refer to that outside of like super old people. Although for some reasons Americans have taken to calling it twats, which I don't know what the fuck that was about. This blows my mind. <laughs> Swatted him on the head. Yeah, twatting also refers to hitting somebody. Yeah, true. I got twatted means I got beat up. 
I guess that's supposed to be because you made me look like a pussy or something like that. I guess that's the, the way it goes from there. What's a bell end? I think we all know what a bell end is. <laughs> yeah, Fanny. Yeah, Fanny's a vagina. Hey, pop. Got swatted also means really drunk. Yeah. I think I think twatted just means you got fucked up. It could be from any any number of sources, but generally speaking, it means you got fucked up. One way or another. But then again, you go to some countries and the word cunt's like super offensive. <gasps> Can't. Welcome home. The dams appear to be working as planned, but it will take some time for the diversion of the ether currents to be complete. You will continue to monitor the situation from here. For the dams being need a fine tuning, however, we may have to call on you again. Sensors indicate faint traces of ether drifted towards the designated location, darling. And each edge of your signature is growing stronger. Before long, we'll have made a brand new current leading straight to the outpost, innit? Something horrible happening. Oh, she dead again. I think I first heard the phrase fanny pack in The Simpsons, and I was like, why is The Simpsons swearing? Because fanny is considered a swear word over here. The kid said fanny, you'd be like, hey, pack that in. Goto! No! So all we need to do is strap her in when we go on the airship. We give her a seatbelt and she'll be fine. Koto. It's another vision, isn't it? And you saw it too, didn't you, darling? What is it? What did you see? It's nothing, will you? Really. Just a dizzy spell is all. I'll be fine after a short rest. Mikoto. There's no need to put on a brave face. You said before these visions of yours can't be changed, but that doesn't mean we can't help. It's very kind of you, Lilia, but I promise you I'm fine. Now let's all concentrate on the task at hand. Alright. But if you need to talk, I'll be here. understand your concern truly but even if we were to tell the others there is nothing they can do to change what I saw what we saw no battle is won without sacrifice and I have made peace with that they're not actually going to kill Makoto right? yeah maybe I imagine Moonbreeda was very much the same in her last moments she never turned her eyes from the truth the inevitable no matter how harsh it may be it's a quality you both share, and one I strive to emulate. Come now, Flo. Let's not assume the worst. After all, we know naught of what happens before or after that brief glimpse of the future. Yeah, maybe you'll land on a pillow or something, right? That's copium right there. <laughs> That's for all copium, Makoto. Maybe, maybe I just land on him, alright? Possible. I'll sign up for whatever, man. I'm just uh, getting these um, stories out of the way. 
Thanks again for your help with the dam. Once the new outpost is secure, you can be certain we'll get to work erecting a barrier. In the meantime, perhaps you'd be willing to share what you and Makoto saw. On second thought, forget it. Like she said, it's all fine, isn't it, love? Let's get back to it, eh? Speaking of getting back to work, I think Balsack was asking after you. Probably wants to talk strategy about the next mission. Uh, yeah, scrollers, we have a, a spot in our group right now. Blade Inspector, thank you for coming. I wish to speak with you about Messiah. As you may recall, it was my intention to have her stand trial once the Fourth Legion was routed. Borgia's lands made secure. There are those who grow demand, and we make an example of her. The cries of her execution grow louder by the day. It's my belief that we must first establish a rule of law. That those convicted of crimes may be given due process under the Queen's tutelage. In the case of Imperial captives, an exchange of prisoners should be considered a viable alternative. not deny that the crime she has committed grow grave indeed, yet the fact remains she deserves a cup of tea and a crumpet, dear lady. Messiah was a soldier, working under the orders of Gabranth and the Fourth Legion. I'm hesitant to carry out such harsh judgment when it is her superiors to be held accountable. Such is the nature of war. Soldiers forced to perform terrible, terrible deeds at the behest of a select few. As commander, I know all too well the weight of my orders carry. The day may come that I am made to answer for the acts committed in my name. Today, it is Messiah who stands accused. The Branth has yet to be brought before us, and the people demand justice be served, one way or another. Uh, put, I, I would put her to death, I have to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I would. I would. If I'm being honest, I would. I would. She was, uh, she was, she was not a good person. When the time comes, I'll keep your words in mind. Thank you, Blade Inspector. I would! I mean... Hey, Celestial. I think she deserves to die. Why the fire of Brer? Was it something Balsack said? Sorry, I shouldn't pry. I'll get back to work. Good. Teen microwaves? No way. The next quest can be accepted by speaking with Dimitar after reaching 18. Uh, I'm already 18. Wonderbar. Blade Inspector, it's good to see you. As always, news of your contributions to the Resistance procedure. you. You've received word that the barrier over our new outpost is complete. At last, our front line can finally move forward. An unattainable feat without your assistance and that of the Ironworks. If you're ready, I've been asked to escort you to the newest encampment. I'd also strongly advise you to attune to the ether right here if you have yet to do so. Now follow me. Whoop! New area! Dope! Let's go! Yeah. Right it, Kieran. God, I want one of those little tanks. I think we're going to make one on Sunday. I have a relatively free day on Sunday, and Emma's going to be in Wales. I've got some opportunities to do some stuff. I might have to go and, like, get myself a little tank. All I need to do is some crafting, right? So all I do is I look up a guide, I buy all my cloth from the auction house, and boom, we're capped in, like, 20 minutes, right? Easy peasy. It'll take a few weeks. How does crafting take a few weeks? Don't I just rank it up? This makes no sense. I've never looked at any crafting in FF. <laughs> I've never looked at any crafting whatsoever. Maybe someday I can gain this critical knowledge. Oh my god, sorry I missed you guys. Lindsay, Zodiac, Seven Call. Thank you all for the subs, man. Thank you very much. It's like there's over 10,700. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. This is involved as combat? You gotta get Vuln stacks? I don't have to gamble on crafting, right? Oh, 
Find all the essential facilities are in place, including any ether I freeze of travel. Balsack intends to seize yet another outpost as we continue to push the front line forward. Of course, this will likely require more work, securing ether currents to power yet another barrier. Even so, with your hits or aid us, I have faith the resistance will prevail. Of course! New area! Wonderbar! Zupatic Point! You have to do daily quests to get the rep? Shit game. Bit in the face of a casual player again. Uh, rank up! Woo. All I've done is rank up, accept a quest, and rank up again. God tier farmer. Crafting is a pyramid scheme. I'll draw my own conclusions, that's for sure. Alright, rank 19. Sweet! Now I can actually kill some stuff. And everything's dead. Away, squad. Yeah, six more to go. I don't mind, man. We got 30 minutes now with the double metal earned. That'll do for me. At least I get to practice some of the critical engagements now. That's what I want. Especially that second bastard. Son of a bitch. Are you planning on doing the other raid today? Uh, depends when we get there, right? I, I need to go and see my kids at some point. I do have the horror of uh, having family. As tragic as it may seem. I don't mind. I want to do learn some of these fights. I want to see some more duels. Oh, there's so much more I want to see here before we like move on and leave it behind for a bit until we actually need it for a practical reason. We're still unlocking everything else. I'm good. Everything's so spread out. Any tanks? Any gathers? Or am I just am I just after bits to pick up here? Yeah, probably. Is this somewhere on the screen that it tells me how many I have? I have loads already. I can just turn these in. Twelve. Ah, I was just checking my uh, chat log. Actually, it shows well. Can I go up to this one now? Then? Sever the strings. I should uncover some on the map, I think. I think that would be smart. Where's the rest of the team? Oh, they're all still there. My bags are getting pretty bad, guys. <laughs> My bags are getting pretty fucking bad, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> But, uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it'll, it'll fix itself. Of that, I'm sure. I can probably hit the sort button now. Where's the sort button? Right click any slot. There you go. 
I'm not sure that made it better. Ooh, my potions now give me 3,600 HP. That's good. <laughs> That's good. I might need to invest in some new health, health potions. Mayhaps. All the unit tokens. Well, they even kept instantly leaving the group, so I got 100% of the loot on purpose. You don't know what it's like dealing with not nice people. I do it to non streamers. Yeah. You're the toxic element of Final Fantasy XIV. Well done. This area's a little bit more annoying to navigate, isn't it? With the, uh, the route like this. I need to get rid of all the housing stuff. That's what I need to get rid of as well. I've picked up loads of them in the last week or so. Absolutely shit loads of them. It's fucking rugs and stuff. Yes, yeah, so we'll either do 5.5 tomorrow or Monday. Let's see how we get on with Bosnia. Oh, what a nice full clear day for 5.5. I want to make sure we're just settled in. Although 5.4 has raised many, many, many fucking questions, man. Pesara, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much, man. Get him out collect all field notes. Picking up whatever it comes across. You get whatever's going. You're still missing notes? Like, are some of them super rare? Of course it's an MMO, what I'm saying. It's like the hills of Stranglethorn notes. I don't think I've got anything for that. I got all my notes. Tip, don't do it. <laughs> listen to me, listen to somebody who knows. Right, what can I throw away here? Maybe I want to turn this in for glam, though. I don't know. My material collection is coming along quite nicely. But I'm missing out on cool mog by not turning some of this in. I mean, some of the raid armor's got to be really nice, right? What is the up-to-date materia? Is it, what's that, eight, seven, seven, eight, ten and nine. So they're all no, not particularly good. Current materia is nine and ten. Yeah, I've got retainers. Hey. I just haven't been back to him. I emptied my bags and literally you guys filled it. You understand what happened? You guys filled me up. Penetrated me deep and inserted yourself into me. Oh, dinosaur! Da 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 da. Are we killing the dinosaur?
jack off for that. Critical, enga critical engagements are the absolute way forward. And that one's going to be finished. Yeah, these, these are getting absolutely mullered. Holy shit, that thing has little legs. That's rancid. That's disgusting. That's actually gross. Nah, we're never making that, are we? No, we're not making that. Skirmishes are only meant to spawn oh, yeah, the seas. Yeah, yeah, we want the seas. This hurts me with long lost friends. Those little cats with their wiggly legs. When I did this solo, it would take ages to do a single fate since no one was here. Oh, you can fast spawn critical engagements? So, oh, there's still nobody where I tried to go. Alright. I thought people were still using this for leveling up because uh, leveling alt jobs. Endwalker hasn't got this its version of this yet, right? Yeah, I know, but we also turned up late to the thing, right? Like, just how quickly we get there. It's already half dead. Do what we can to it. Killing side creatures spawns CEs. Huh, I thought they were on a timer. And the mobs that's in the fates don't count at all? Magitech mobs spawn seeds. Okay. That's kind of frustrating, isn't it? Because you're obviously riding around to get the... Uh... Well, you kind of want it's an off-group who's just constantly spawning them, right? Magitech mobs also drop clusters. Giraffes don't drop anything. What's their health like if you're an individual? I might die here, but let's see. Can you get Quare out here? Party whisk uh, leader is as as he gone. Bragart's in charge. Oh, we're all doomed. Make sure you cure us, Bragart. Any cures? We're not going to be able to get in. Someone doesn't have sufficient quest progress. What? What? Who 
Who has less progress than me? I've only been here since like a day or so. I got scammed. Played like a goddamn fiddle. Oh, maybe it's me actually. It's all the way up there. I've not been there. Might be me. Mayhaps. The best one. We'll get there. We'll get there. It's not like it takes a long time to go from 17 to where I'm at. Oh, Boris making pulls. Okay, don't let me die. Don't let me die. Going huge. One rest, please. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of mobs. No clusters? Jokes. We got a rest. One rest. You have lifesteal, just stay in the AoEs. Just greed it out, baby. All day. So with this and the story, this one might tip me over actually. This might be rank 20. Mayhaps. This seems to be the best technique is you pull a bunch of mobs into the skirmish. Like a tank just goes and brings everything into the skirmish as well. So you're getting the double effect. God, I'm starting to min max FF. Fuck. I can feel the darkness taking hold. I'm feeling all these I'm feeling all these these old memories start to stir. Is there a moon kid equivalent that we can have just run around star falling everything and pulling it in? Or Dancer, oh, we have multiple choice. I see how fast one gets ranked 25 nowadays. Oh, but how, how boosted is it? I don't know how bad the last few levels are going to be, though. They could be, like, pretty intense. It used to be rough. <laughs> rough. Was that more due to uh, less people being here? Oh, we've lost our metal buff now. That sucks. Oh, people like... Um, like killing the, the skirmishes and stuff before you could get there. Untrue! They only buff the metal from the raids. Pull some more mobs in. Oh, what, boys? Any, any pullers? There's some more mobs in here. This guy just fuck off. Yes, arms. That's it. Tell you we some shit. Oh, not quite. Didn't tick me over enough. 
Rack him up. Rack him and stack him. Dolph me time. I do like the triple flare combo. It's good. It's good. Triple flare combo is good. I like it. Boju was dead before the second or third last update before and walking due to 5.3 and 5.4. That makes sense. That's it, Boris. Boris has got the idea. Drag him in. Oh, yeah. Oh, Boris. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm getting aggro. Hold on, hold on. All right. Unleash. Oh, what are we? Can't use ley lines. That's a bit of a problem. It's kind of cool, you know, that it levels out your gear, so the buffs make a lot of sense. That's something I would love to see used elsewhere. Because the problem I always have with, level, like, grind zones is they sometimes have buffs at the end of, like, rep grinds and shit. But by the time you get them, it's fucking pointless. Like, it's absolute garbage. Like... It makes no fucking difference, because you gear to the goddamn teeth. No, I'm not just saying just in WoW, just in general. Like, it's nice. You don't just dominate the whole world every time you turn up. You're not just God incarnate. You know? I don't know what that flare spell is, but um, I see, I've, saw, I've seen it nearly, like, destroy jewels. Yeah, I should check out the Bosch of gear, shouldn't I? It feels like in this second zone, there's a lot less activity than there was in the first one. It seems to be there was a lot more spawns going on there. You know, that's just RNG. If I'm just wondering, because if players have some influence over, you know, the amount of events that occur, that's it, Boris. That's my boy, man. That's my boy. This? This is not, uh, I think Bex wants to go in Discord. They have our address. We're moving. Okay, okay. Uh, it's, it's not going to be like a piece. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, are you still not sure? Okay. Hold on. I'm, I'm AOE. I'm AOE. Hold on. No, don't make me cancel my pump. Pump has to be done. Otherwise, people are going to die. Uh, okay. We have a gift from one of you. I got my rank up so I can return. We want a table. Okay. Hold on. We get our combat. All right. Stop, stop.
He has gift. Hold on. Oh, she's the, she's waiting. Hello. Ready. Hello. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah. So you got a big box. And you. It's not from me, but uh, I was contacted by someone, yeah, and sorry, uh, getting, uh, yep. So you've done a lot of drama times, and some of our drama audience might know um, the guy who wrote Yo, Legendary. Uh, the one who also sent his, his cousin, it got his cousin in trouble for ERPing in Goldshire. And oh, chat yeah. one, yeah. That guy was a douchebag. Yeah, chat were not happy with him. That and, uh, well, in repentance and hoping that you can forgive him, he has made you something. And he's been very excited to get it to you. I've seen what it is. Yeah. And he hopes that this in some small way helps so thank you to uh fascia wait wait wait, wait. don't be saying thank you until i've seen it hold on well i mean i'm pretty sure you're gonna like it we're gonna like it it's he's oh god do not get these off. he's made this for you he's and the pro He's made it, and the process that's gone into it is quite astounding, because I've seen him do all sorts of things to this, to get it to what you will see now. Is this a troll, Vex? It's not a troll. I am not trolling you. <sighs> oh my god, my carpet! <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Right, can we pour some of these out? Yeah. Right, it's a box full of them so far. So far. Yeah? Who doesn't want that? There's a message on this that says, Come on. This, oh, it's the come on a chest. Come on a chest, yeah. <laughs> come on a chest. All right, shall I show it to the audience first? Yep. All right, I'm not looking. Yeah. It's kind of wrapped, so. It's wrapped, okay. Yeah, so, but the shape will kind of give some indication. So, is this a gift? No. It just occurred to me that that gives the information. This it could so, be. This is very heavy. It is, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Guys. Open it. Listen to <laughs> oh. You getting the idea? Okay, it's a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't realise what that would look like with something wrapped around it. <clears throat> if this is a dildo hammer... <laughs> that would oh, be amazing. It's not a deal, though. There's like nothing to do. I would have break it then, to show the weight off. <laughs> would be impressive. It's, uh, it's very sturdy. Made someone made this for you. Holy he made fuck! As in, he put this together for you. He's done everything to it. Jesus Christ! He... Oh, yeah. He's put the, the handle on it, he's put the fur on it, he put the logo in and etched oh, gold and silver in it. Oh, it's got some beef, in it? That is so heavy! Wow! And that is properly etched inside, look at that! Yeah, he sent me pictures of him soldering the actual image on it, so him drawing the image on and then putting it on there for you. Christ. Thank you! I kind of think where we're going to put this. Yeah, I know, I was trying to think. When I, when I heard, because I, I got shown some pictures early. So, yeah. Um, I don't know, I think it's got... It's I can't good. say thank you enough. That is so heavy. I could kill everybody with this. I mean, that, that'd be all right on here. Quite heavy, but... Try the place. I mean, shouldn't Piggle have it? As long as it can be seen on camera, that's the thing, right? You can get a good shot. <laughs> Piggle with the hammer? Down. 
But there you go. That is from Fasha. Uh, he does. He did send me a load of pictures of him soldering it and everything uh, that I can find and send you if you like. And uh, he's also sent another story in, so look forward to that. Oh, I will. <laughs> Can't believe how heavy that thing is. I know it's that is a real hammer. Yeah, it's a sledgehammer. He's reclaimed. You could, you could like and repurposed, put a brand new, brand new handle on it. Everything. How did he get the, like, etchings of, like, the lightning effect uh, inside it? He, from what I understand, he sort of drew them on there. Um, then uh, with, like, some pencil or something. Then he soldered that in and then put some kind of uh, colouring inside it and soldered that in. Hey, thank you so much. Pickle now stands mighty. Holy fuck. <laughs> my wrist hurts <sighs> Jesus well thank you so much there you, you go you misspelled honour <laughs> I don't think that's the issue do you <laughs> thank you Bex I will let him know that it's arrived safely and I will let you get back to Bosha okay bye bye oh wow oh that was mad I don't know how much that cost to send but Jesus, dude, that was insane. Thank you so much. Bye, Bex. Yeah, that is a pretty wacky thing to receive. I had no idea. I have no idea what level crafting that requires. That requires a lot more than I know, anyway. It's properly textured. Oh, we got more story out of that. Sweet. Oh, wait, did we get in? Hold on, hold on. Godbert energy? Actual Godbert. Like, it's properly textured and everything. For Sarah, thank you for the prime. Estrella. Mwah. To you. Maldick, thank you for picking up one of our queer hoodies, man. And Nomad. Welcome, brother. Welcome, man. Oh, that's the duel? Oh, I missed out on the critical engagement. That's okay. That's all right. Worth. Worth. Resistance to approach to a new outpost. I've done analysis of the area, however. I regret to say there's nowhere near enough residual ether to power the barrier. To make matters worse, this rather awkward location requires us to redirect multiple currents to sustain an energy flow. That's where these beauties come in. The defluxion ether manipulators, Mark 2 and 3. What sets them apart from the first model, you may ask? Well, apart from the name, not a lot. But they are newer, if that counts. So you can stand stuff to you now? You can, yeah. Reach out to Bex. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. I well, we both wish we could go with you. I feel only slow you down. Be safe. All right, got it. The music's killing you? Why? What's up with the music? There's, oh, we might be able to see the jewel. Sweet. Yeah, I like this music. It fits the theme completely. Music's louder than your voice? Uh, no. Well, uh, I can turn out of it. No one going in? No gamers? Oh, there's Libel. Let's see, we saw a win last time. I wonder if they're getting buffs. Yeah, they might be prepping for buffs. How can you tell someone's registered? Because it's it's literally because it's there. Hey, no worries, T-Fam. I think we turned it up for the... Um, I think we turned the sound up for the, the dungeon before. It's dungeon jams in the tits. It disappeared. No party. Uh, I should go to the quest place. I should keep getting my quest done. More progress, more zones. We're good. I guess, is this the final zone we're unlocking? No. No, there's more. Fucking hell, this is huge. Yeah, I've got the Zadnor map. I got that. 
Any recommends for what we should do with the other clusters? Hey, Phoenix. Go back to the game. Yeah, that's the whole point, man. Ain't no way I'm going back to being a one-game Andy, but for right now, I am having a blast here. An absolute blast. Every day I discover something new. Every single day. Big good times. Buy the minion, buy the mount. I already have the mount. Once you got caught up, do you plan on doing current savage raids and gearing yourself? Uh, maybe. I've gone through every thought process about what I want to do, such as, like, I even thought about not touching Endwalker until, like, the last patch had been out. Because right now, I enjoy such a fucking benefit of just being able to play through it all. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have such that benefit of, like, just playing through it all and not having to sit for months speculating. Analyzing trailers. Going frame by frame. Yeah, and people get saying, Endwalker is finished. But there will be new patches, right? There will be new patches. Oh, don't worry. A lot of people have already, like, shouted at me. Like, it's, 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 you know, it's fine, it's fine. So, we will be doing Endwalker when I get back from Mexico. You have reached the designated location, yes. Reading transmission. Yes, we're streaming Monday and Tuesday. I fly out on Wednesday, and we should be back to normal on the Monday after that week. No, it should, we're only missing, like, six streams or something. So far, so good. As the damn bird into the ground. Excellent. Proceed to the next site and stay vigilant. There's no telling when you may encounter Imperial forces. Alright, one more to do. It feels awfully empty, this area. Large and empty. Well, someone sent me a... Uh, I do want some FF14 merch for the office. Someone sent me a really good-looking solar statue. I think they just want me to replace the Sylvana statue, honestly. <laughs> I think there's a lot of, like... Please get rid of the Sylvanas statue. Illidan can stay. Sylvanas has to go. No, it wasn't your Tola statue. It was a good one. Yeah, it was good. Uh, it said statue. I'm assuming it's a statue. I think I'm being baited into something more uh, degenerate. Maybe. The weird doll? Oh, you piqued my curiosity. What's the weird doll? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Yeah, I don't want to know. It's got to be bad. It's got to be really bad. Guardian, thank you. Jumping in for a sub and then jumping out to avoid spoilers. Oh, don't worry. I can't, well, I can't suppose I can spoil, Bosnia. It's not weird. I can't spoil the farming zone. Imperials. Didn't get the better of you, did they? No, I suppose you wouldn't be contacting me if they did. <laughs> Maybe they must learn not to jump to conclusions. <sighs> I assume it's a fuck doll, right? It's a fuck. Oh, wait. Squeenix sell it themselves? Okay, I am curious. No, it's just a doll. Is it because it has a, a weird, like, not your solar face? Like when they made that Jaina statue that time. Ooh, boss! Yeah, I can see, I can see the creepy face. 
100%. I can see that. The less weird if it was a fuck doll. Yeah. <laughs> That's a sad state of affairs. <laughs> Never cry wolf. I don't think I've done this one either, have I? Is this another new one? Nope, never done this one either. Sweet. First time for you as well. We'll be fine, Armst. We'll be fine, I believe. This spawns the jewel, so stick around. We'll do. I've done it. I'll just say smile face. Okay. Okay. I'm not worried. I've got my I've got more more HP now than I've had in a long, long time. I'm I'm comfy. I'm comfy. I've got fifty thousand HP. Holy shit. Why the hell was I doing all these gambles without any of these buffs? What oh, a fucking moron. Oh, I don't, I'm, I'm definitely going to get bone stacks, right? I've never seen the fight before. Yeah, but I was gambling when I absolutely did have access to them. I totally was doing that. <laughs> I was absolutely doing that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. You have more HP than me and I'm the tank. Well, use your buffs, man. Don't tell me we're getting to the point where I'm now, like, overpowered. Glaciation. Stand still. Makes no difference. Right, the storm within. Okay, I see. It. The storm within is if he's close range. was stood there it still pushed me back I was slightly sticking out I guess I have to tuck in real tight to that thing next time oh I want res oh everyone's so many people are dead holy shit Could you sure cast it? Oh, so the pillar doesn't block the... Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, yeah. The pillar doesn't block the actual movement ability. So the idea is you get knocked the opposite way towards it. Okay. Greed. That help it. Storm without, so be inside. Okay, yeah. Okay. Don't think I'd struggle with this boss again next time. Although I don't know what this does. No, they just shoot out in the directions.
move a bit earlier from there. It's a nice simple one, actually. Yeah. Uh, I think THD is in, uh, I imagine they're in 9.2 prep mode. Or maybe play Lost Ark. Oh, it's a hazard to guess. Half a million. Right, Jewel, who got it? Someone must have got it. That fight wasn't that bad. No, Jewel? Ah, there it is. There it is. Uh, I've got time to grab the skirmish rewards. Yeah, I imagine he's lost Ark. I think he's finished his goals that he needs uh, from FF right now. Got anything for that? Such a shame that Lost Ark came out at the exact time I was going away, but something's always coming out, so what can you do? It's easy to match all mechanics to Bosia. <laughs> Why has he been grinding Bosia so hard? Has he been leveling every job? That's what I would imagine he's been doing. Yeah, every job. I wonder if that's how Alex did it. Alex, Fat Boss Alex has every job as well. I wonder if he did it through Bosnia. We have a gamer! We have a gamer! Victoria! We has a gamer! This is a big arena! I can't tell if they're fully buffed yet. <laughs> My guess is yes. Do we believe? What are our odds, chat? What are we thinking? Are they fully prepped or are they going in unknown? Where's our odds at? 50-50? Check buffs. No, you've got to gamble now. That's how we gamble. You don't gamble with extra information. I'm going with lose. Buff check. Physical damage reduction, HP increase. Uh, as far as uh, Angry Phil, you should be. Oh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's a GG. <laughs> that's a GG. Unlucky. Unlucky. Uh, Phil, if you're using a VPN, you should be able to just uh, change it and launch the game. It should be fine. Uh, Bex is playing Lost Ark via VPN, I believe, as well. She might have some answers for you. Let's go to listen. Did we do it? Welcome back. Our sensor detects steady streams of ether flowing towards the site of the new outpost. Now it's up to the resistance to drive away the Imperials. Once they have a substantial confluence of energy, it should be available to power a new barrier. Well, everything seems to be under control here, so I'd better get going. Oh, right. 
Makoto's gathered some promising data to help the chief deal with Dalriada. It pertains to my findings on the inner workings of the crystal foci. I believe it may be of use to him. Chief said that he'd be heading back to Doma after he finished maintenance on Sierra's wall. Rather than drag him all the way back here, it seems quicker if I take the data to him myself. Don't worry, love. I'll be back before you know it. Oh, does she know? Uh, before I go, uh, Makito, right? Is there anything else you'd like me to pass on to Sid? Not good to keep your emotions bottled up like that, you know? <laughs> Why don't you tell him how you feel? Uh, Lilia! This is wholly and utterly unprofessional. I would never... He would never. And even if we did, we, there's neither the time nor the place to discuss such matters. I think it is. I've seen far too many people live to regret words left unspoken. <laughs> Just think on it, will you? I try not to miss me while I'm away. Oh, if she dies, it'll be kind of sad. Maybe she'll die without Sid really knowing. Sid's fine. He doesn't need to know. Um, is there any chance you could forget the, that entire conversation? <laughs> it's only joking. Thank you for trying. To tell the truth since entering the stadium. My life, my life has been what singular purpose? The pursuit of knowledge. Yet for all my research and scholarly works, I never learned what it truly means to live. At least that is what Moonbreeder would tell me. He would often admonish me, always insisting I spent time with the other students. Or at the very least, step away from my dusty tomes for some fresh air. Perhaps you hope I might find someone. I cherish more than my books, but sadly she never had a chance to see it. Why are we talking about Moonbreeder, man? You're dying, Moonbreeder died. Sid is truly a remarkable man, and I'll not deny our shared interest in the sciences. During the short time we've worked together, we've become good friends. And as his friend, I understand the great burdens of his mind. Even now, he struggles to break free from his ties to the Empire and his father's terrible legacy. Which is why I wish to do all within my power to support him. As a friend, mind you. My feelings towards Sid are similar to those I felt for Moonbreeder. Respect and admiration. Bullshit! Who are you lying to? Are you lying to me? Are you lying to you? So I say, hate to disappoint Lilia. That is the way of things. So please don't read too deeply into it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Master Geralt, what are you doing here? Better question be, what are you doing here? Did you be paying a visit to Sid in Doma? Nothing to be embarrassed about, lass. All romances have to start somewhere, and I agree the two of you make a right good match. But you need to act quick. Even I can see the man's a fine glass of ale, and I reckon it won't be long after some pretty thing snatches you up to take a swig. Look, look, look. Yeah, get some, Makoto! Get some! Meanwhile... Is it ready? The 
modifications will require more time. Can't be serious. It's been ages since the damn thing was excavated. And the engineers been sitting around with their thumbs up their asses all this time. Far from it. Given that this is unexplored territory, we must proceed with caution. Tell that to the resistance soldiers a stone's throw away from our bloody front door. Won't be long before they tear it down. Why not withdraw to Dalmasca? Surely they can finish their modifications on the way. Withdraw? You would abandon everything we have laboured for here in Bosia. That is not all we stand to be, surely. You have not forgotten the events of Castro Meridanium. I only know what I've heard. That Gaius's pet ended up biting the hand that fed it before turning the place upside down. Not quite the wording used in the reports, but accurate enough. Knowing his plans would soon be thwarted, he deployed an anti-Icon war machina in a final attempt to drive back the Eorzean forces. He could not contain its power, and because of his hubris, the Castrum was wiped off the map. In short, the relics of the Allegans are not to be trifled with. It takes but one mistake for our plans to fall to ruin. And yet Sicinius has seen fit to scurry off to some far-flung goal when he's needed most. This was his scheme, not ours. He should be the one overseeing all this. Perhaps you should put this pent-up frustration of yours to use outside. After all, in light of Messiah's recent failure, it now falls to us to rout the resistance. Really? You're asking me to go out there? Ha <laughs> ha! It's about damn time. <laughs> Somehow I knew you would relish the opportunity to get your hands dirty. Oh, I assure you they'll be filthy by the time I return. Oh, Trokey, thank you so much, man. Thank you very much, brother. Subs for cutscene clusters. <laughs> Seems Resistance already has their site set and another potential outpost site. They can only hope to secure the location without heavy losses. We've got another site coming. Rank 22. All right. And I only need a million to get there. Sweet. Uh, oh god. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Alright. Oh, we got like 52 minutes. Sweet. Alright, I'm just gonna have a piss, dudes. Last little piss of the day.
one day this man is actually going to use the AFK screen that I designed for him. Okay? I feel like it's got to happen logistically. He must press it, even by accident. Okay? But uh, we hold out. Plus to get, plus to trackers. I didn't miss a critical engagement, did I? Sweet. All right, so we need two more levels. And then we're done. Yeah. Jerry's your favorite side character. He's the best. He's the best. It's been a long day today, but I've been having a blast, so it's all good. All good. Oh, wifey. Hello. What's up? You're on stream. Oh, uh, no. 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 Why? Uh, they haven't earned anything, right? They haven't earned anything. <laughs> Is that right? I'll talk to you soon when I finish you. Okay. Got his girlfriend back. What a chad. What a chad. My boy got his girlfriend back. I bet he simped. I bet he simped for her. You know it. It's not how I taught him. I'm going to have to find out. I want to know how he got her back. How do I educate the boy? I can't ever become a yeah. I can't ever become a softy. Show him FF. That will not do him any favors. I'm pretty sure this almost cost me my marriage. Uh, once I showed her the once I showed Emma the free company, she was not happy. Uh, that was eight. Was that not enough? I don't know. I hope he. I hope he did all right. I'm sure he did. Sex cult. It's not a sex cult. Although I do believe there probably are some really deeply disturbing sex cults in the game. I'm never going to Limster on a Saturday night. Pass. I've heard nothing good. Yeah, I, I almost guarantee there are some drama stories coming which uh, I probably don't want to know about. How do I get another metal buff? Do one. There's pretty much nothing happening in Limsa if you don't know, go looking for it. Well, who do you talk to? I feel like you have to, like, whisper. I feel like you have to, like, whisper someone on in a back alley somewhere and they, like, uh... They, like, clue you in. They're like, you need to go and talk to Greg over there. Go and have a word with Greg. He'll sort you out. Oh, so because that jewel didn't actually pop off. We didn't get it. Okay, fair enough. No one does the RP in Limsa anymore. It's all in the venues. They find you. They dress just dress provocatively. <laughs> I don't want to. 
I don't want to. Sounds scary. I bet there are. I bet there are like pimps and stuff like that. I do worry about the darker side of it though. I worry about the darker side. Like, are there people who feel trapped into ERPing because that's all they've known? And their pimps like hassle them to keep going. I bet there is some really dark shit where people like coming home from work and they're like, God, I've got to log into Final Fantasy tonight and blow some dudes. And you know, it's like some 40 year old guy. He's got, he's like done with this shit. You know what I mean? But he feels he's got to log in and like blow some elves. <laughs> I'm just talking, man. I'm just saying that, that, that darker side definitely exists somewhere, right? Is that endgame raid progression? <laughs> no, not quite. Oddly specific? Well, maybe that's what happens, right? I've seen it on TV shows. You don't you don't think that exists? Oh, look at Boris! What a chad! If you think that's not a thing, then I'll accept that. I'll accept that. If that's not a thing, I'll accept it. I think that's a thing. I think that's a thing. Doesn't seem possible, but I'm skeptical. We need some Noahs. We need someone who's been down there. It's a CD underbelly. Just log off? Yeah, but we've seen from Drama Time, people can't log off. Like, they physically can't. They're like, sucked in, man. That's it. The chance of feeling the horrors all on their own? I've been there. I've seen it. Oh, Braggart died! How the hell did you die, dude? You have questions? Ask me. I know more than I should. I mean, I'm, I'm voicing them now. Man. I'm voicing them out loud. I'm sure it's all just fun and games. It's, it's all pretty wholesome, actually, when you think about it. I go to the clubs all the time, so people there always seem to be having a great time. I'm sure there's plenty of weird drama going on. I basically get on Noble, like, getting approached. Right? That happened. to go in the VIP areas. Just imagine if how some women are fooled by sending off hundreds of thousands of boyfriends in foreign countries. Right, that's what I'm saying. Never underestimate it. It seems unbelievable to us, but never underestimate it. Not just women either. A load of dudes have fallen for that as well. How many dudes have invited new uh, brides over and whatnot? You know what I mean? I end up getting fleeced for every penny. I read about some dude, right? I read about some dude who sent like thousands and thousands of pounds over to uh, a woman in Croatia or somewhere like that. Then flew his ass over there to finally meet her. And it's not that she catfished him. She was like some Russian phone sex lady who was doing this like 50 guys. And he called her from the restaurant where he was supposed to meet. He like flew his ass to Croatia. Gets on the phone because she's not there to ask where she is. And they, she, he'd recorded the message and they played it on, the, on the, the TV. And it was just like, you actually went to Croatia? And she's like, you're so fucking stupid. And they couldn't do anything. She was, she was like Russian. <laughs> she couldn't get any of the money back or anything. It was just fucked. Dude sat there in some bar in Croatia waiting for some beauty to go over and she just was like, you actually went to Croatia? <laughs> it's just like, you're so fucking stupid, dude. That's, I mean, that is a rip. That is a mega rip. That's a super rip. I mean, old people not understanding computers and stuff. 
I remember one day on my laptop when I was about 12. I fucking, I obviously, I'd obviously been looking at porn at some point. And then a message popped up. I got some virus. And it was like, uh, the FBI has got your IP. Uh, and it spammed my fucking screen. And it was flashing in big, bright and red and blue. And it's like, the FBI is coming to get you. Uh, you need to pay 200 pounds to like, oh, the FBI will come and fucking take everything from your parents or something. I freaked the fuck out, man. I legitimately freaked out. I was scared to death. And then I didn't even consider the fact that one, I'm in the UK and the FBI doesn't mean a goddamn thing to me. That didn't matter to me at all at the time. I was a frightened man. Standard FBI practice is to see I literally send your PC a virus. <laughs> I didn't know any better. I was a kid. I thought my mum and dad were going to find out I've been looking at naughty boobies. Can't be having that. All right, I'm feeling the grind is setting in now. That's okay, though. All I want is critical engagements. That's all I want. Like, critical engagements, I could do all day. Uh, you going to Edwalker in another class? Uh, I haven't decided. I really am taking everything as, like... I know it's not min maxi, but I'm really just taking it as it is. I enjoy my character a great deal. I really do. So I'm just kind of, like, chilling with it. I might swap over, I might not. I think what I'll do, here's the strat, here's the game plan, right? This is how we're going to speedrun this. We're going to do, we're probably going to go into Endwalker at like 89, right? So what I'll do is we'll do like two quests until we hit 90 in Endwalker. And then we'll stop the Endwalker MSQ and then start doing uh, Dark Knight leveling. Right? I think that's how we nail it down. I think that's how we get the best possible stream. Solid? Yeah, I think that's I think that's the perfect choice. It really is. We'll do like one or two Endwalker quests. And then we'll just stop for ages. <laughs> Dark Knight starts at 30. So we'll, we'll have a ramp in. And then we'll just do Bosio and Eureka for ages. To be fair, I think we're doing Eureka when we re-roll to Dark Knight would actually be a play. That's a good way to check out uh, Eureka. The Rich Strats. Yeah, we'll go with pure Rich Strats. Although he did say this morning, I spoke to Rich this morning, is uh, we want to do Allcraft. He said we'll need to do like a seven hour Allcraft after it's been so long. I don't have a plan for when I hit 90. I really don't. I'm not here to level. I'm here because I want to do boss. Boy, yeah, boss, yeah. I'm just having fun with it. I'm not here to level whatsoever. Leveling just happens to be happening simultaneously. <laughs> Allcraft on FF? I wouldn't be doing an Allcraft on World of Warcraft. Like, at all. I'm not even up to date. I'm really not. I actually want to do a lot of research before the uh, raid race so I know what I'm looking at. I don't know about the tier set bonuses. I don't know what's happening with the classes with double Legos. This is the knowledge I'm missing. Who knows? Maybe I'll get asked to do some commentary for the Waste of Will first. That would be nice. That would be nice. Oh, 
Okay, we're flying. We're almost 21. Super. It's not even any Legos. It needs to be a Covenant one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the Covenant specific ones. You see Rich's reaction to the 5.0 ending? I didn't, no. No, I haven't. I haven't. I saw that my, mine popped up on like 50 YouTube channels. I saw that getting recommended to me constantly. Wait, did that just respawn? How did you guys know that was going to respawn? I'm 99% sure Zack's going to go back to FF14 after the Lost Archive is gone. Yeah, he will after Elden Ring. That makes sense. There's just so many. I, 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 it actually kind of feels stupid. There's so many really cool games coming out. Kind of all at once as well. I mean, it's, a, it's not exactly a terrible problem to have, let's be honest. Tons of games that once said nothing for months, but I don't know how kids play games now, or maybe even you guys play games. Like, I had one game every six months. Like, that was normal for me. Like, for my birthday, I'd get GoldenEye or something like that, and that would be my only game for six months. And then maybe I get something else in the summer or something like that. Mortal Kombat lasted me forever. Absolutely forever. I'd rent from Blockbuster. I only did that every now and again. Like, usually with my brother. He's gone rent a video game. I'd rent something for the Genesis. Yeah, free to play is a big one, right? The fact that you could just chill on Path of Exile. Is Fortnite free to play? It is, yeah. Although my kids are so into microtransactions because they've grown up with it. Like, microtransactions are so normal to them. It kills my soul. Like, at least every couple of weeks, I'll get asked to buy them some Minecraft skin. And I'm like, buy a Minecraft skin? Are you high? What's the matter with you? Because they play on console, yeah, like buy a Minecraft skin. I'm like, actually high. Why would anybody buy a Minecraft skin? Yeah, they play it on Xbox. I almost want to buy them a PC so they don't have to use Minecraft skins. Times change. Times change. Fucking predatory these games though. Drives me mad. <laughs> spend money on the PC once. You can never spend money on a PC once. That's not lie to each other. That's not lie. Our new PC should be coming soon because I'm currently playing on my home PC. But our new PCs, which are being custom made, they should be coming soon. I cannot wait to see them. I've had no involvement in what they look like at all. But I know Nups has been behind it. God Gamer himself has been uh, involved in the design process. So you could say I'm pretty damn excited about what's going to come out of there. Get him like a Raspberry Pi 400 as first gear. Cheap, friendly, will play Minecraft. I'm going to get someone they can code around on. The fuck is this? The Ross is something. What is this picture, Ross? <laughs> Why have you sent me this? Why have you sent me this? <laughs> what the fuck? Why have you sent me that? Like, I'm gonna put you up on the wall or something? I'm gonna stick you up on the wall. You think that's gonna happen? That's an emote, Chris. That's a good idea, actually. Chris, new emote. Where are you? Hey, 
There you go. I heard. <laughs> Chris heard. The Chad Que. It's not Ross, it's a Chad Que. That's what it is. Dreamboat. Old Chad Que versus the Virgin Lalafels. True. True. The Giga Que. Yeah, man. Grats, Ross. <laughs> Why are you grazing him? What? Where's the fucking CEs at, bro? See me, baby. We also have Obi-Wan Quenobi. <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited for the glamour contest on the 16th. That last glam contest we had was so good. It was so good. Oh, come on, man. This is worse than Slice. Give me the rank, bro. Why to the remaining Wild Legacy vids? I am, yeah. We're just getting set up. Chris is doing our uh, first proper YouTube video from here. I hope you guys like it. We'll have some teething uh, learning to do because we've, we've kind of thrown everything at it to see what works and what doesn't work. So we'll get our style going on pretty soon. Oh, careful, Spice. Oh, it's careful, man. Tanks do the pull-in. Yeah, uh, Boris is doing it. I'm going to limit break this. Limit breaking when, when you're ready. There it is, bro. There it is. Double clusters. There it is, bro. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. That actually feels so satisfying. Components for days. There we go. I think that would easily be 22. I'd be amazed if that's not 22. Well, it has to be, right? Don't you wish there was an AE cap? Yeah, man. Honestly, I wish they'd just slow the whole whole process down so I could uh, enjoy it more. It is nearly 5 p.m. It is. Let me get this rank. Let me get this rank. One more rank. What am I turning into? One more rank. <laughs> one more rank. Just one more rank. Helping out the squad, man. Off screen grinding, not a chance. I just said I don't have a computer at home at the moment. When our new ones arrive, I can have my uh, PC back, but for now, my computer is here. No gaming for me at home right now. Not that that's been a bad thing, actually. I've spent a lot more time with Emma. I've spent more time with the kids. Although I'm fuck bored when they're all doing their own thing. Like, the kids are playing Minecraft and Emma's just finished her day. And she's chilling on her phone. I'm like, what the fuck? I can't even game. I have the Switch, but I don't want to buy more games. And I've finished everything we've got. I haven't finished Luigi's Mansion, actually. I can't afford more games. I've done too much gambling with you lot, man. Far too much. <laughs> Love you, bo Buzz, you boy. It's only been three days. It's only three days. Get that stream deck. Go for a walk and see the real world. I do. I walk my dog the second I get home. I go for a big walk. My routine at the moment is I get home, I take Ben for a huge walk, get him all relaxed. 
And then I kind of just chill out. Like I said, I have watched some movies. That's how I got to watch Resident Evil last night. Because usually I would just go back to work. The Triangle Strategy demo came out and it transfers all the progress to the real game when it comes out. Oh, really? Okay. I should bring Ben to work tomorrow. I think he's been a bit lonely. That's, we're not making that. It's at 98%. Oh, I got the rank up. Sweet. Rank up, get. Uh, we need one more tomorrow for the next piece of the story, don't we? Yeah. I think Ben's got news to be going away. What he misses is used to let him out and take him for a little walk during the day. You know, if Emma was here and stuff, I'd just whip, whip Ben out for five minutes, give him a little walk. You buy him out soon? All right. Uh, what can we do? What have we got? Oh, we picked up some more notes. Nice. That I didn't have. Awesome. Okay, got brand new notes. Didn't get many uh, forgotten fragments today. I didn't do the Louis Soir reading. I'll promise we'll do it tomorrow. 100%. Hundred percent. Definitely. Right, I'm gonna turn everything in. I'm gonna go see my fam. That's the plan. Uh, who am I looking for? Fraser. Yes. Oh, I can do the rank above one now. Fine. Yeah. Stone skin. That sounds good. I'm not addicted. No, I'm finishing the story. Literally not doing anything else but finishing the story. I'm not grinding out levels or anything. That's happening passively. Oh, I got re-raise. Dope. Duel time? Any duelers? There's still loads I haven't seen. I mean, adding heal to me should be really good, right? Tech traps. Spell interrupts. Uh, have I got anything else I need to turn in? Flare Star. Uh, have I got Flare Star? Where would that be? Offensive? Is it a potion? Light curtain, lodestone. It's not in the offensive category unless it's the one I'm missing. Is it an offensive thing? I guess I haven't seen it yet. I don't think I've had it yet. Okay. Okay, so barry around yourself and all party members that absorb damage to only 10% of max HP for 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, I don't think... Oh, I've got a couple of chests, but nothing special. more than I thought, actually. Hmm. Apparently, I had quite a few. <laughs> I still haven't got anywhere near 20 of these things. Uh, I should also sell... Can I sell to this guy? Well, I need the... Uh... Right, make sure I don't fuck this up. 
I can sell all level 7 materia. Right? Eight's worth keeping, though. Sell all nine and ten of the current ones. Okay. okay. I should sell these potions now. 3,600 HP is not really going to help me out much these days. What are these fucking carrots? Oh. The chocobos. Uh, well, we're going to do crafting soon, so I'm not going to sell it just yet. Just yet. And I, could turn, I can turn this in for some glam pieces, right? This is just shit I've picked up. It's not like, uh... It's not like I've been collecting it. Right? Why trash them, though? I, I, isn't the raid gear quite nice looking, potentially? You're never going to turn them in. Why not? They're undiable. Bag of shit. It can't be honey yellow. What's the fucking point? Right, what's all this shit? Is this Eden stuff? Clusters. Makes materia six. Makes materia eight. Heaven's Ward Helm Fragment. We don't need that, do we? Another minion. I already have that. I should give that to somebody. That's Alexander stuff. Alright, a little better. <sighs> I need to dump the home stuff somewhere. Bosian, Bosian, Bosian coins. What can I do with that? We'll check tomorrow. We'll check tomorrow. Dudes, yeah, really good times today. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going home. I'm going. It's been a long ass day. I'm going. Yeah, we're using. We're going. Hey, it's been a great day, dudes. It's been an absolutely tremendous day. MSQ has led us on to the last patch now, Shadowbringers. Which, we'll see how we got with Bosia tomorrow. I want to do Bosia in the morning. Uh, if you don't like Bosia, we'll, we'll be starting with that. And if we can finish off Bosia tomorrow, or get ranked 25, which I think we can easily do, then we're on for the last part of the MSQ. That's the plan. 5.5 is... Do you think 5.5 takes longer than a single stream? Like, genuinely? Like a seven-hour stream? Yeah? 5.5 and 5.5... 5.5 and 5.55 are chunky. Might take longer. All right. Well, we've got... Uh, we've got... It's Thursday today, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We've got Friday, Saturday... Uh, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, mainstream. I might be around on Sunday as well. Because Emma's going to Wales on Sunday. So, we'll get it done. 100%. We'll get it done. Ladies and gentlemen, for me and the team, thank you for another wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Be good.